and action. In the hole with the things. <laughs> no, Scott, you messed no, it up. I can't. Look, I I just want to sing the black one now. So sing it. But no, I, no one's holding I don't think I can yet. even sing that yeah. that soft and end. It's it's look, it's it's the it's the other <laughs> the other more socially acceptable end. But I still don't think I should sing that like as the first line of the podcast. <laughs> Kelly's gonna sing it though. <laughs> See now I'm just singing ends in that in my head. To that. <laughs> Cody Rhodes. <laughs> WrestleMania. Black icon Cody Rhodes. He is he's black icon. If you haven't heard the uh cool, <laughs> the, cool. <laughs> the cool remix of Cody Rhodes's adrenaline theme song about him being a black icon and there being more than one black world champion, uh you should do yourself a favor and do that cuz it's uh it's at least replaced the regular Cody Rhodes theme that has been in, I think I can confidently say all of our heads for, has it been two weeks now? Yeah. No, not for me. No? I, I was I was trying to remember what it was. Oh. Oh, well, lucky you. I got the yeah. lucky end of the straw. Yeah. You didn't hear it enough times at Mania for no, it to sink I in? I have brain damage. I can't, like, <laughs> that's fair. in the last <laughs> couple of years, I'm trying to remember wrestlers' my, names my and own, stuff like that. Your own just, name. Yeah, or, or my own name. And I can't, like, it's like, the guy, and he did the, oh, God. And I have to, like, Kelly, that's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> work backwards and be like, okay, he wrestled this guy. You have to, like, that, solve that. your own yes, me- solve. memento mysteries. Yes, I have to tattoo wrestlers' <laughs> names on my body now. <laughs> I like your uh, Mike the Miz Mizanin tattoo on your leg. Yeah. Well, you'll never forget now. It's like that match you had with. Uh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> Look at your taint. Duke the dumpster <laughs> drum. I like that. That's the wrestler you chose to tattoo on your penis. He's very. He's important. That's what I call the trash can factor. <laughs> <laughs> that's very good. Yeah. We could end. You want to call that's it? A, that's an ending. I, 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 that's a big ending. <laughs> Maybe uh, in, can in we a, end a, to be at the I end? I was gonna say in a, in a better <laughs> world, I would just take out that chunk and put it at the end. But we we know that's not happening. Well, so you, you'll have to say something equally good at the end. You edit every single episode that we do. I'm a big editor. Yeah, you're uh, you're J. Jonah Jameson. You're yeah, cu- you're cutting out all of the swears and cusses, so every episode's monetized. We know that. Hundred percent. And uh, that's that's end end of my statement. The one bef- the episode before last week, so the one before dog porn, <laughs> um, got like demonetized like well after the like a week after it oh, had been getting caught up out public. So I don't know if people are reporting it or what, but knock it off. <laughs> I like people that listen to this podcast that are behind by several episodes. Yeah, and then by the time they get caught up to. This episode, we'll be dead. you and I have already recorded like three, four, five, whatever many more. Yeah. And then they'll ask a oh. very specific question the, because to them, the it's episode, new. this episode happened to yesterday. Yeah. Real time. Not, not a month ago. Yeah. And we've already forgotten every, I don't even know where we are right now. <laughs> and you think in a, in a month, I'm going to remember me saying one specific thing. Yeah. Like if. If you quizzed me on this podcast the second I hit stop, I would not do well on that quiz. Nope. Well, then it looks like I'm not the only one who needs to memento. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to memento the live podcast on our bodies as we record I'm going to have to memento the stuff that Kelly said about memento. <laughs> <laughs> and does that mean we it's have a, to get Duke the Dumpster Jersey yes. tattooed on our dick? It's a, no, we're going to have to, like, like, another layer down... Inception wise, overrated movie. Um, like, like remember what Kelly? Remember that Kelly tattooed Duke the Dumpster Drossy on his dick, on our oh, dicks, yes. <laughs> right? All you need, where which our he, dicks are definitely yeah. long enough to do. Where does Kelly have that tattoo of Duke the Dumpster Drossy? Oh, he has it tattooed on his <laughs> Drew is, penis. Drew is miming looking at his penis by uh, looking at his penis. Also, I was very generous with how far out my penis <laughs> you, goes. Yeah, you did yourself. You served yourself well. You know, I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah. even when I'm a shower, I'm not as big as I mind. I'm a, I'm a gra- I'm- <laughs> I mind like seven inches. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's my penis. Can, can I just say how excited I am that I can call my penis the trash can? <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, your, your life has just gotten better. <laughs>
Do we say? No, we haven't. We've we haven't said shit. So uh, say some stuff. This is the worst year of our lives podcast, aka the news sometimes, but also WrestleMania reviews and previews. Yep. Uh, I'm Drew. That's Scott, and the one at the end is Kelly. And as you can tell, he's clearly on the end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with this recorded in mono, you can definitely tell who's where. Uh, thanks for listening to another wrestling related podcast. We know most of you love it. And by most of you, I mean almost none of you. You were all pretty good, boys and girls, about the Mania preview. So. That's because we did a lot of fun stuff before. I feel like this one's going to be less fun. We're, oh, this we're, is more about the rest. Have we instituted our no fun policy? Uh, yeah. Well, it's not going to be with that attitude. I'm the no fun league. <laughs> well, exactly. Can't always expect them to be good. I am. This is the no fun league. And yeah. the no spin. <laughs> Although one time I think I called it the no spin cycle. <laughs> you, you did. You said that or something equally ridiculous. Yeah. That was not the right yeah. thing. The no spin zone. So we don't spin things here. Yeah. We, don't, we tell it the way it is. We're a couple like of Bill real Americans. We're a couple of Bill O'Reilly's and one. Dennis Ann, Miller. I was going to go Ann Coulter. Oh. Is she still a thing? Who's the Ann Coulter? Uh, Kelly. Yeah. Oh. Because he's the prettiest. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. She's I'm still around. Ann Coulter. <laughs> I think she's still promoting for D O N A L D T R U M P. Donald Trump, Trump, Trump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just spelling it so the dog wouldn't understand. <laughs> Kelly gets angry if he hears the word Donald Trump. <laughs> I do. <laughs> But it's you, gotta, a, you, gotta, you gotta trick him by saying W A L. Maybe a new single for yeah. W A L K. <laughs> it's a it's a comedian. maybe we need to S T O R M the capital. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's a thing from a Bo- Andrew Santino Bobby Lee podcast episode. Bad friends. Bad friends. With, yeah, with the Donald Trump thing. Who? Which? Which of us is the Andrew Santino, and which of us is the Bobby Lee? You're more of a ginger. Keep, keeping. Keeping in mind that your name is Andrew and I'm Chinese. Mm. Uh, but yes, I think I'm more interested in You're Indian, which is pretty much the same. I'm not Indian. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm from Indochina. <laughs> I'm an Indo-Chinese type. When did we stop you doing... Could be North, you could be North Korean. I'd love to be North Korean. When did we stop doing Indochina? 1910. Okay. Why? Because uh, Indians and Chinese people are technically different i know that's not what it means but yeah i i'm trying to think what it was indonesian china <laughs> the it never occurred to me i because i think there's is this a history lesson this, this podcast now no no they, we're they, we're on to entertainment news <laughs> uh that big indian movie that was was it maybe up for the R-R-R? oscar R-R-R? yeah R-R-R? R-R-R? and like i haven't seen Which it they be- couldn't I haven't seen it because yep. it's foreign yep. and I, I refuse. I, w- I will not read while I watch a movie. Um, but there, like, I, I guess That's I, a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how to read while watching a movie. But I, it, I don't know if I saw a clip or a trailer or something, but there were Chinese guys in RRR. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, that seemed insane to me. But I'm like, wait, India and China border each other. Mm-hmm. So I like I, I didn't know what I didn't know what I thought. I'm like, do they do do they do like an epicanthal fold check at the border? <laughs> if you don't if you don't pass, you don't get in. But yeah, of course, there's Chinese guys in India and vice versa. But it literally never occurred to me. How do the Chinese people say the name of the movie? LLL. And uh, that's the show. At least uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see you next time. It, it's called. It's still called Indochina, just not officially. Because it is between the Indian subcontinent and the Chinese mainland. Yeah. And but it's it's still called that that we just don't use. I think the, we need to get back to it. We don't use the term anymore. I think we need to get back to uh, in, to in, making in the countries. You can't. You don't know. What you're talking India, about. China. Nope. Oh. It's between the two. It's the peninsula oh. of Southeast Asia that's between the two at the ba- bottom. Bangladesh. Uh no. Uh, Myanmar, although it'll always be Burma to me. Myanmar is one. Laos. Yeah. Cambodia. Yeah. Malaysia. Yeah. Vietnam, North and South. I don't. I. I, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't acknowledge the results of the war. Yeah. Is Burma still like an insane war zone? Yeah. It's crazy, and they have like a weird like they built a new capital. Oh. In like the 20, storm it? 20, 
<laughs> they built we a should, new capital so they could knock they it down. They should do. I mean, let people get out of their systems. Yeah. Just build. Just go to Capital Town. B- build a second White House. Storm it in like. And who gets in hurt? like West Virginia? Yeah, have a and replica. Just tell them. Have a. Re- oh, the president's here now. <laughs> yeah. So that when they when they get mad, they can go. Storm they can go the there. Fake Nobody Apple. gets hurt. Have a replica of Nancy Pelosi's desk. Yeah. Have a guy shit have on guy it. Shit on it. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's, it'd be nice. But uh, yeah, no, Myanmar like built like a new city in, I don't know, 2016 or something. And like nobody lives there, but it's like a full city with like large buildings and stuff. And that, that's the capital. I don't, I don't know, but it's, it's a fucked up place, but they have a cool uh, flag with a dragon on it. That's <laughs> nice. Yeah. Did I name all the things? Viet- Vietnam. Yep, that's it. Oh, oh, yeah, you got me. And this is also me learning that Indochina isn't just everything from India to China. It's oh. the 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 taint of it's the taint. India and China. It's the peninsula. I literally didn't know that. Oh, there you go. See, it is an educational podcast today. It is. We're uh, we're here to not so much have you learn, but for us to learn. And if you learn that's via battle. us learning, then that's just gravy. Um, so we said the name of the podcast. Yeah, we said our we names. I said who we were. That's pretty good. What was the thing that I said I was going to bring back? Oh, yeah, but I can't. Sexy. <laughs> no, but I, I can't say it on the podcast, so. Oh, what? What I said in the car when you got here, and then you're like, you don't hear that a lot. And then we discussed what it was. Oh, yeah. I, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I could say it on the podcast. So I, so I certainly, certainly not with that. Out of, re, out of respect for present company. Yeah, and, will, the, and the president. I will not be saying the thing I said out loud on the podcast. <laughs> I will be saying it when the podcast goes off the air so Kelly knows what I'm talking about. You should say the should first... I scream it from the top of the mountain? No, you should say the first syllable of it as I'm turning the podcast off. Oh, yeah, good, done, yeah. deal. Stay tuned to the end of the podcast where I'll definitely say the word. Where you can try to... Fun game at home for next week. Try to figure out the word Drew's trying to drink, bring back. <laughs> Um, what else needs doing? Um, uh, ads are in soft pause on t- social medias, letterboxes. Your, uh, there was another one that I thought of that I was going to start telling people, but I've already forgotten it. Uh, Mastodon, uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, what was the other thing I had to log into that I'd forgotten I had? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. It, Letterbox is the only important one. It's the only yeah. one I use. Uh, not Scott Henson on stuff. Uh, thanks to everyone who's joined the new Discord. There are a, a lot more people than I thought would do it in the couple days it's been up so far. So keep doing that. There's a link to the Discord in the description on the uh, on the YouTube video of this thing you're listening to right now. Uh, YouTube.com slash at Not Scott Henson. That's where... Uh, all the good stuff is. Uh, and if you're so inclined, uh, become a member of the YouTube channel. Uh, click the join button at youtube.com slash at not Scott Henson and uh, start giving money, you Claude. <laughs> um, yeah, and other places to give money more directly are paypal.me slash not Scott Henson and paypal.me slash Sarian Softpaws. And uh, Kelly's social medias are leave him alone, right? Kinda. <laughs> yeah. And Drew, Drew's left. A, a record early departure. <laughs> it was dark in here and I was turning the light on. I don't oh. want to record in the dark. I don't know where your hands have been. A little premature, I would say. I'm never premature. I'm, I'm often the opposite. Post mature? I just give up. <laughs> Post mature. <laughs> I'm a post mature ejaculator. <laughs> Is my does, does that mean that I go? I, like I get hard and I go until I lose the boner, and then ten minutes later I just I come. No, I. <laughs> I think it's more long term when you start dating a girl where she's a child, but you don't have sex oh, with her no. until she's oh. of age, until she's post mature. Or oh, Dane, okay. Dane Cook style. Nice. I mean, you're not Dane. Dane's the man. Yeah, Dane knows what's up. He's my second favorite guy named Dane. <laughs> Squatting down on the top of a, of, a, of a chair to make it look like he's a gargoyle. Yeah. And doing g- gargoyle work for five minutes. Pulling a bunch of faces. Yeah. He was he was it's all a- of our... I'm, I'm going to speak for all of us. He was all of our favorite stand-up comedian for a six-month period. What do you mean was? Uh, is, that, is that fair? Uh, I, I felt maybe... I wouldn't say that long for me. I think I started turning on him probably the earliest. Interesting. Out of most people that I know. That's fair. Because I was like... 
He's just talking about things <laughs> that we had growing up. He, like, <laughs> he's just doing Louis C.K. bits, but worse. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you know that in Mystery Men, where he's the waffler? Yes. Yep. The character was originally supposed to be somebody who couldn't make up their mind. And Dane is so dumb that he legitimately thought Just it was the waffles. waffler. And so... But surely someone else... Well, no, that's the, the thing is, like, he, he got... Because I guess they let them pick their costumes, like the, the background guys. Yeah. They just gave them, like, here's a giant bunch of fucking stuff. Pick whatever looks stupid or ridiculous. Yeah. So when he did it, he legitimately, like, dressed like that. <laughs> they saw him. They're like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, like, I'm the waffler. Like, I, I like... And they're like, no, 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 you're supposed to be somebody who, like, goes back and forth... Between things waffles or between waffles decisions. Between, and he goes, oh, I didn't get that. And then they just, <laughs> and they're just like, well, this is funny too. And then they just let it go, right? But And then he became the number one comic on Earth. Yeah, but so did Jeff Dunham. So did Larry <laughs> the King. Okay. This feels better? This feels better. Okay. The, yeah, the Audacity decided to uh, just be a dick. So there'll probably be one weird little cut you just heard. And it definitely wasn't Drew saying the biggest slur you've ever heard. Drew, really for uh, for the sake of argument, what is the biggest slur ever? <laughs> the biggest? Okay, no, no, that's not fair. That's not fair to the same podcast. Who, who, <laughs> who, <laughs> oh, God, who's dude. the biggest slur you've ever seen? <laughs> oh, hmm, Amy Schumer. Yao Ming. Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. I hate Amy Schumer. Um, I will give one thousand dollars if either of you remember what nope. we were talking about before on. we had to stop <laughs> moving on is any do you have a clue mm, hold on <laughs> <laughs> checking his penis no i just duke the dumpster <laughs> I, don't, I think we moved past duke sadly um yeah i think we said all the housekeeping housekeeping you want me in tampilo you want me to jerk you off no what kind of hotel is that <laughs> the good kind kelly <laughs> Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess we should get in this stupid show, right? Or do we... No, let's just do the show. Let's move on before we have more issues with this thing. And then uh, politely I can kill you to get the fuck out of my house. You're going to say politely I can kill you. Politely I'm going to kill you. <laughs> as long as it's polite. I would like the last thing I witnessed to be a polite you. <laughs> Slowly... <laughs> Plunging a knife into my jugular. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah. A dirty look. Oh. And I'm gonna kiss you. Huh? No, no, blow your brains. Oh. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna blow up the back of your head. You're gonna blow my back out. Yeah. You're gonna kill me by blowing my back out. Yep. Yeah. The first time. That is what the gypsy told me. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do we? I guess we can save for ne next time. The uh. The the Utah story. Oh, the Utah Jazz, Utah Jizz, not the Utah Jizz, the new hockey team. <laughs> Although that's pretty cool too. Yeah, the uh, uh, yeah, we can, I mean, we can save that for Drew's uh, professional hockey corner next episode, which I know people love. No, the, uh, the oh, the f yeah, the, that's pretty fun. Yeah, we, it's we maybe good. maybe we should just save that for next time. All right, it's from it's from our good friend Libs of TikTok who uh, makes. Just all all the worst content, and I think I'll ha I'll have to look into it, but I feel like because like lives of TikTok is like a uh, like a shitty right wing like like fas fascist level right wing channel um, that, but I think it came out that like the uh, although maybe. I don't know the truth of anything. I, I, I work only on hearsay, but I think it came out of, like the person who runs it is trans or something, which is very oh. funny because there's like, like it's like I, I'm going to say 75 percent of libs of TikTok's content is like anti trans. So mm. I don't know, like what the deal is. So I will. Uh, here's my promise to you for next week. I will do zero <laughs> additional research and then speak confidently on it next week. But there is a fun. There's no, there's no other way to do it. There is a funny story they posted, which I don't know, 50 50, more probably 75 25. It's a lie, but uh, but it's a funny story regardless. So yep. uh, stay tuned to the news next week. The news. It'll be. So we do have a plan going forward. Yeah. Next week, mm -hmm. requests, assuming they've been figured out, which they have. It, spoiler 
It's anime. <laughs> it's anime. Shocker. This podcast is an anime podcast. But it is an anime that I, this is a shameful admittance, have jerked off to because it's PG. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> that I have downloaded by myself before it was requested. I didn't watch it because I don't watch anything. Why wouldn't you brag about that? That seems like something you'd brag about. Should I brag about it? Yeah. I had this downloaded years before anybody <laughs> told me to watch it. But I didn't watch it. I don't know, like, like bragging that you were the first person to think Dane Cook wasn't cool? Ouch. <laughs> it's 25 episodes. Yeah. That's a lot. I know. Am I going to actually like it? I don't know. Apparently, it's at, least supposed to, at least they're 23 minute episodes. I think it's supposed to be really good. Have you seen Berserk, Kelly? Yes. Uh, uh, like the original? Yeah. Yes. It's very good. good. It's, it's very good. good. It's the last episode is very fucked up, but yeah. nice. I, I heard a lot of it's fucked up. The They did a sequel finally after I don't know how many, because I think that came out in 97. It came out in 97. They did like a 2012 15th yeah. anniversary like remaster yes. of it. And then 2017, they did, a, uh, six, I guess, a, 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 new a new season. Yeah. Yeah. And like, but it's, it's the, it's that was that weird period of like kind of CGI with like still anime kind ah. of like it's it's that weird period where they couldn't make up their minds gotcha gotcha yeah but yeah i think we we have been uh we have been paid for the first half and i believe will be paid for the second half just of the original original's great yeah although actually i think it's a a super cut of the original and the remaster stuff because i think some stuff is better in the remaster yes there's way more stuff in the remaster okay yeah, yeah so it's it's that so there's like a shit ton so of thanks like, to dead sane for that there's a shit ton of like movies well there's like three movies that tell the first kind of story. oh it's like one of those Ma- yeah. made in the abyss style Ooh, yeah abyss. I care, have we talked about made in the abyss i don't know we're not here to talk about that have you watched it no watch made in the abyss okay. it, it's good yeah it's good yeah it's uh have you, have it, you watched it, b stars Huh? Have you watched B Stars? I don't think I've seen the second season. We've seen I've, some, I've, some of the first. I know how it all ends and everything. I'm brag. Don't spoil it. <laughs> I read, I think, like the first. Does Legoshi blow his brains out? <laughs> I fucking wish. <laughs> like, Damn. I think I read like the first. Harsh indictment. Because there's like a million fucking chapters. There's so fucking many. And I got to a point where it's just like, this is just the same shit over and over and over again. I'm like, so I just kind of like stopped. And then I'm just like, then gotcha. I found out like, oh, it ended. So I just looked, read, I read the last chapter and I was like, fair enough. Cool. What about, <laughs> cool. What about Killing Bites? Oh, Killing Bites is say It's, it's a, I, I, it has a lot less play than yeah. other big anime. But yeah, uh, yeah. Your, your mission is to check out Made in the Abyss and Killing Bites. Killing Bites is literally, uh, we live in a society that has the surgery oh. and uh, there's like four d- business criminal cartels that control Japan and they have these proxy like anthro animal fighters that do a battle royal and the winner gets, I don't know, the oil rights <laughs> <laughs> or, or whatever. But it's it's awesome. Okay. And uh, tons of tons of TF. So yeah, big big thumbs up on killing. And uh, a big selling point on it is that they are everything is like very proportional. So like li- like little animals are small and big animals are okay. big. Okay. Yes, Zootopia style. Zootopia yes. style. <clears throat> and Beastars style. Well, Beastars is is good with uh, sizes. Oh, um, sorry. I was talking about Beastars. Oh, I was not. Talking about. I was gonna say. I yep. was thinking. Killing bites isn't. No, nope, killing great bites is wildly uh, uh, <laughs> uh, mixed up. Although there are, they are mostly all big animals. Yes. Anyway, so that's the point. Yeah. But uh, so that's been the anime corner. You're welcome. Except for it's always the anime corner on this podcast because you people did this to us. I never thought I would watch as much anime. I never thought I would watch an anime. <laughs> I have. And now here we are, at at your mercy. Just watching stuff that wouldn't even exist had two nuclear bombs not been dropped in 1945. And thank God for those nukes. <laughs> you're pro, you're a pro nuke guy. Well, I'm pro good anime. You're guy, pro anime, so and the they ends, go hand in hand. My the friend. ends justify the means. Correct. However, we needed to get to anime is justified. Resume. 
WrestleMania. <laughs> Fair. WrestleMania, extra large, number 40. Not not to be confused with XXX, which is the best name. Of WrestleMania, the... hardcore pornography. WrestleMania, a porn parody. <laughs> I like that. Uh, WrestleMania. This was WrestleMania Neon Green. Neon Green. Philadelphia oh, Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so was it green because of the Philadelphia Eagles or because of Triple H? I think because of both. Both. Okay. I think it's both. Although the neon is more Triple H. Yeah. But it's, it was his uh, It was his debutante's ball. And the skulls. And the and skulls. skulls. Even though there was no skulls. He probably wanted <laughs> skulls. Uh, yeah, I guess this was Triple H's coming out party. That, why that, that, why that, did that stop everything? Because oh, I was waiting for you to say something more, but then you just stopped. So. No, Triple H is gay, oh. and he came yeah. out and had a party and came out. Um, so if you listen to the preview episode, uh, you're welcome. We're, thanks for fall. Thanks for sucking it up and going through the whole thing. Yeah, uh, if you did, um, thanks for the suck. Apology for another wrestling podcast, and yeah. the fact there'll be another one in about three or four weeks. Two, up oh, two weeks. That's correct. <laughs> uh, my bad. Yeah. Um, so WrestleMania is Saturday, uh, from, uh, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. The, uh, attendance was claimed to be 70,057 people. It wasn't. Uh, that's if you include everybody on the premises. That's if you include anyone who's ever been in the stadium. <laughs> no, like, they had a lot of people there. It was, it was, it was mostly know. full, but this, I mean, the entrance way alone oh, takes man. away... Yeah. Like to almost ten thousand seats. Why can't we just stop lying about attendance? It's always got to be bigger. Yep, bigger is better. If nobody lied, bigger, be better, fine. blacker. The WWE is larger than life. You can't have just okay numbers. You have to have yeah. or even good numbers. They have to be <laughs> outstanding. Numbers. Even good. Oh, speaking of adjectives, <laughs> uh, it was maybe last week because we're we're because we realized we hadn't seen the last. I don't know, 75 uh, Botchamania videos. And I, I, maybe I've seen the sporadic ones, but like I went back to where I, I definitely hadn't seen a bunch in a row. And it's like 2021 into 2022. Do you remember the shit they were doing for 2022 when they mm. were... <laughs> Juno's what I'm talking about. Uh, when, also, you're right not to remember. I absolutely didn't remember until I saw the Botchmania video. Oh. But um, they were uh, very much trying to make Fetch happen by calling it the uh, the most stupendous WrestleMania. Yes, oh, I do remember the Do stupendous. you remember that <laughs> yeah, shit? Because we made fun of, of it. Of course every, we did. When we were, uh, watched it. I was like, so happy stupendous. I blocked that out of my mind, but that shit was embarrassing. Like, Vince had a weird, like, regression period. To the where, 1940s? Yeah, where he <laughs> went back to a time before he was born, <laughs> and he's really old with the stupendous WrestleMania and Mad, Mad Cat, Cat Moss. Moss. Yeah. Like, what the fuck was going on yeah. doing peaky blinder shit with uh oh yeah the fucking brawling, brawling brutes, brutes and butch and, and uh yeah stupendous pal stupendous like pal. stupendous wasn't a thing when and, vince yeah. was alive like I, I don't know it's uh, like i don't love wd wwe now but it is a lot better it's yes. so much better it's, it's so a lot better. it is it is anyone who says it's the same is wrong and isn't watching yeah tribalism yeah. Uh, Kelly, what if I told you that there is an uh, unconfirmed rumor that uh, Vince is trying to start his own company? I heard about Did this. Did you hear that? Yes. That can't happen. I could see him running one show that goes poorly, <laughs> and, and he would get like enough of his like loyal people that are available yeah. to do it, and he would like lose a bunch of money, and it would be like everything would be terrible. But I could see him doing one show. It'd be a fun show. I mean, he has enough money of oh, his yeah. own that he could do one show. He's got like so, 800 million. Well, yeah, I know he's like, well, what, burning what, money. But whatever he had before a few months ago, mm. which was a lot of money, yep. he has additionally sold $1 billion in stock. Yes, but that is also to pay off things that he needs to pay off and have money for things that he needs to have. For. What does he need to pay off? Does something happen? Um, he went back to his home planet and died along the way. I didn't even know he was sick. <laughs> uh, so, they lied about their numbers, as they usually do. Yeah. Like, um, they, prob they, they probably had uh, 64, 65. Yeah, which is still impressive. Which is still a lot of people. I don't know why you gotta go to 70, 70, 57. Yeah. But, I, like, 
if if you include all the parking attendants and the janitorial staff, how about ghosts and ghosts and goblins and ghouls? <laughs> okay, maybe you get to seven. I'll give you ghosts. I'll maybe give you goblins. No ghouls. You can't have ghouls. No little green ghouls. Like no little. Overlay. No little green ghouls. Mm. I although I know they are one of your hobbies. hobbies? <laughs> oh, ghouls. <laughs> ghouls. Yeah. You know people's knees. You know little green ghouls. Mm-hmm. No, I don't. <laughs> Uh, so we open with the Dirty Woman's World title, uh, oh, sorry. which was Ray, Ray Ripley actually. defending and beating Becky Lynch. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all said Ray to retain. Uh, Dave Meltzer gave it four and one quarter star. Okay, that okay. we gave it. Uh, Scott said three and a half. Kelly said four at three and three quarters. I and he could not give it four. <laughs> and I said three even. Yeah, and to uh, to restate, these are these were our predictions for what we thought but, we would give it. Yeah, yeah, not what we thought Meltzer would give it. Yes, um, it was Good. a very fine yeah. SmackDown yeah, main, main event. event, or yeah. like. A secondary rest, a secondary paper. I'm oh, sorry, PLE. Thank you. Uh, like semi main event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was a good match. Nothing wild, nothing crazy. I, they, a couple of good spots. I but... I really liked that. I, I, I was also uh, so Mania happened April sixth and seventh. Uh, we're recording this on the nineteenth. Um, also, in a matter of hours, uh, you know what to do, guys. Blaze it. Um, yeah, so we don't, uh, I mean, again, same with the podcast. Like, we wouldn't have remembered much the next day, let alone 12 and 13. <laughs> I didn't after. remember a lot the night of. Yeah, exactly. Because, Kevin, you don't remember because the, Kevin drugged us. You don't remember the Dev Patel HBO miniseries I the do night like, of? I do like Dev. I like him a lot. Yeah. Wait, but, wait, um, wait. oh, no. Oh, no. I called Riz Ahmed Dave, Dev Patel. <laughs> <laughs> but Drew, Drew, What's that Drew, even no, mean? Drew, listen to me. L- Drew, listen to me. Uh huh. Listen to me. Are you sitting down? I'm going okay. to sit down. It's not because I'm racist. Okay. It's, ah, it's because their one, first. Two, three. It's because their first one, names two, have five. three letters and their last names have five letters. Why? Why is that the autism you have? It's my special. It's so weird. It's my special thing, and I'm your special boy. <laughs> um. Yeah. The match was also. Very... It's a little bit of racism. <laughs> That's a lot of racism. And uh, sorry, and the cage match rating was a 7.42. Which reflects that, less than a four and a quarter yes. from Dave. Uh, yeah, again, like I, I, they, did a, they did one cool top rope spot. Yeah. They do a pump handle slam off the top. They did board. a pump handle slam onto the top turnbuckle and then I think a regular one after. I think that was right. the finish. Yeah. But they did a very cool oh, the um, electric chair, chair. Yeah. roll over the top rope, land, land on your standing feet. on the floor still in the electric chair. Very well done. Very, and yeah, hard yep. to time. I Not think, easy to do. I don't, was it the finish they had? There was a very cool reversal that went into the pump handle, I think. There was. Yeah. yeah. But I don't remember. Oh. I um, think it was reversing Becky's, like, uh, manhandle slam, I think something it's called. Like that, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, it, was, it was good. Yeah. Uh, the cage match is about right with a 7.4, which is in the t- not. Yeah. It's like not quite a four. I'm, I'm pretty. Would I give it three and three quarters? Tell me. I'm not good at my own opinion. I'm, I'm not giving it three and three quarters. Are you giving it because two I, and one quarter? Because I feel like it was so forgettable. Yeah. Uh, I had initially said three and three. I'm going to go three and a quarter. It was better than I thought it would be, but still nothing spectacular. You've talked me into three and a half. That's what you initially gave it. Is it? Uh, yeah. Good for me. Maybe I'll do that for every single match on both days. I don't think you will. Do I? I'll, I'll probably lower it to three. Three and a quarter as well. Racist. Racist against beautiful white women. <laughs> with Aryan. With crazy accents. Yeah. Uh, so ne- next. Also, I'm just about I'm done. Just, I'm just about done with you. <laughs> I'm just about done with accents. Okay. Like. Except for Indian ones because you're so good at them. I am very good at those. But um, like you can. B- people with accents. You can hear. You can hear us, right? Just fucking talk like that. But we have accents to them. No, we don't. Oh. We have the right speech. Everyone else is ridiculous. Everyone's retarded but you. <laughs> yeah. Should I have said that? That nah, we're 20 minutes in. It's, it's fine. fine. We're 20 minutes in the second bar. We're like 36 total. So yeah. 
That was that. Drew, stop playing with your LED bullshit. No one can see it. You can. It's giving you a headache. I know I can, and it's giving me a headache, but the podcast the point can't is see to it. give you a headache. Anyways, next match was the uh, <laughs> Raw, Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Title Six Pack Ladder Match, which, uh, boy, did we get a little bit of a twisty, turvy, twervy twist in it. Nope. No, pass. <laughs> um, Dump it. A Town Down Under. And accents. The awesome truth defeated the Judgment Day DIY hashtag DIY, the New Day and New Catch Republic. Uh, Dave Meltzer gave it four and a quarter. Cage match has it as a seven point four nine. It's so very similar to the first. Uh, we all said the awesome truth. Yeah, uh, because we thought there would be one winner. Uh, you said three and three quarters. Kelly said three and a quarter, and I said four. Yeah, so when they uh, when the, the the establishing camera shot for the match, we notice uh, the belts were very separated. Two, two big hooks hanging from the ceiling, quite far apart from each other. Like, oh, they're splitting the titles. Well, this would this would have been have. as no as they should not have. Don't split the titles. Well, either have one set of titles. Yes, have one set of titles. Or have both titles. But don't have one title champion that's carrying two belts. Fair. But do have one title champion that's carrying three belts, because that's a triple crown and that's cool. Yeah. Unless you're, like, a lovable loser who's too gay for Japanese wrestling, and then they create a thing for you so you can do it for all of two months and then lose two of the three titles. Oh, it took me a while to figure out oh. you're talking about Eddie Kingston. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, who's too gay for Japanese? I, I thought you meant literally like too homosexual oh. to wrestle in Japan. I'm As like, if Japan no is. one's no one's yeah. too gay for Japanese wrestling. <laughs> That's the beauty of Japanese wrestling. Um I thought this was really good, but there was very obvious who stuck out as sore thumbs in this match. True. And who were who were the ones carrying the workload and yes. the biggest problem i had with it was how i mean obviously you want to do this but how bad every single push the ladder over <laughs> guillotine yourself on the ropes looked what one, there of, was, one of which resulted in the first guys getting the titles yes but like there were like six of them and every single one of them look fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah. Like land on your feet first and and like and take up like take a go down to your butt bump yeah. without even hitting the ropes or so safe. Catch the ropes and then just go down. Yeah, I, I was going to say this might be the safest ladder match I've ever seen. It was it pretty safe, really which was. isn't a bad no, thing. No, but you're like hey, be safe. No. Yeah. But and like and they did do there were some like risky spots. Yep. And like there was that one I think the most dangerous spot I think is when they threw I think they threw Pete Dunn into Ty or uh, into Tyler Bate. Yeah, and like, who was he, on the ladder, and he fell down and like almost broke his leg. Yeah, yes, like, that was the worst yeah, out of all of scary. it, which was kind of surprising. But yeah. like everything else, there were some things that could have went bad very badly. Yeah, but everyone was fine. But yeah, like there wasn't any like insane diving off the top through like, not, a bunch not of tables so much, or no. anything kind of like that. So. Yeah, no huge spots really. Yeah, they did the what the power bomb on onto the, uh, Waller. On yeah. Waller onto the, after onto they the won ladder. the titles yeah. onto the ladder bridge outside, which, yeah. which basically the like <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, hmm, what's that ladder made of? Uh, they also killed JD McDonough, throwing him over the top rope through a table. Oh, oh that's right. yeah, which he almost like domed himself so, on yeah, the railing. Yeah, definitely almost died on that one. Yeah, so that one was yeah. less safe. And then uh, then David Priest kept trying to. Climb a ladder that didn't work. On, oh my on god! Yeah. We're like, you got, you got to get off. You got to get off. New ladder, screaming buddy. at him. Yeah. Get a new well, and, ladder. And so was I think was it the female? Yeah, it was the female ref who was like, like, like tapping him and grabbing his leg, but he didn't know what was up. So he was like kicking her away. It's just like the fucking ladder's broken. And then he once he gets onto like the sixth rung, he's like, oh shit, ladder's broken. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he tosses it and then. <laughs> To, sp or, yeah. to speed things up, our truth just passes him yeah, a new he, ladder, and he starts climbing. Well, in. no, it was brought up that he th he thinks he's still ah, in the yes. uh, so it, it Judgment worked, Day. It worked in case. So he was terms. helping. Yeah, that's okay. what it was. Um, I like. We said this when it happened that the two worst teams in the match won the tag titles. One hundred percent. Yeah, like yeah. the other four teams the are four teams significantly are good. good. Yeah. 
And then these ones are like the 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 like character ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, and B- Bait and Dunn were by far the MVPs of the match. Yes. They did yeah. everything. And then you could see like Miz and Truth did the least. Yeah. Waller and Theory did the second least. Yeah. New Day did the th- yep. third, fourth least. And then the other three teams did everything. <laughs> yeah. Although, like... Yeah, very much. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't bad. I don't think I'm giving it a four. No. I don't think it's four. I'm going to it was fun. go three and a half. What, what hurts it is that both title wins, like the actual grabbing, <laughs> the grabbings of the title, yeah. were both very anticlimactic. Uh, oh, yeah. yes. Because the first one was great was Waller and Theory who who got there after just one after one of those just lame push the other ladder over people take don't really hit the, top the world's safest bump and then the R Truth one where he won was the weirdest shit ever because he like sets up the ladder and he stands there stands there and gets it like gets it just nice and like fixes the horizontal supports between the yeah. two big legs and then slowly climbs it. And nobody's nobody's, <laughs> nobody's doing anything, and slowly keeps climbing it, and gingerly takes the belts off, and the match is over. Yeah. And like he when he when he was doing the left of the ring, he looked up. The crowd was like, "Yeah, okay, yeah." yeah. And then he they died. Yes, as he was doing. All I was gonna say, stuff. like, like it, what if, are you doing? If from that point on everything had gone quickly, fine. Yeah, but it didn't. No, it was very slow, and I I don't know if like one more thing was supposed to happen or if Truth was just really slow about it for some reason. He's, but, I mean, Scott, he's fifty something years old. Could have fooled me. I, I was gonna say it's insane. Like it is the career that he's had that I like probably a vast majority of people don't know about. Yeah, like NWA champion yep. K Quick in K-Quick. two thousand with Road Dog yeah. when he was wearing, Road Dog was you know he the Armstrongs had a weird two thousand because like where they were all trying to be rappers the Armstrongs had a very black two thousand yeah because like Scott was in the No Limit Soldiers yes he was Buzz <laughs> he was Saw, wasn't he? Brad like that Brad was Brad, Brad Saw yeah. <laughs> yeah he was Brad Saw <laughs> and uh, he was like Colonel B or something and uh, yeah shit what was he. God, it's, if, if only we had uh, done a podcast <laughs> where we watched every episode of 2000 Nitro. Um, but yeah, him. It's and, whatever he did after Buzzkill, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, and then Road Dog when he was, K-Quick was wearing like those big suspenders with tie-dye t-shirts yes, underneath. Yeah, and like, and like, yes, like baggy airbrushed yeah. pants. And, and rapping. <laughs> and rapping, obviously. Yeah. yeah. That was, a, that was an interesting time in our nation's history. It was kind of the, it was the real peak of wiggerdom yeah it really was yeah, yeah. Really and was. the armstrongs were on the train hard yeah and good for them i support them i'm gonna bring it back i'm, I'm gonna start <laughs> doing whatever the hell they were doing 24 years ago oh, um you popping what? open an uh, energy drink there, buddy? no i'm popping open a uh, sap sucker. anyways what are you giving it for a three and a half star? same as the ladies three equal equal get time it? you get you predicted three and a quarter I think I'll stay. And I thought I was going to like under underrate it because I always underrate things, but I'm like, no, no, maybe not. Yeah. Well, if you don't like things and you don't like, I don't I don't like wrestling. I hate wrestling. I don't like anything. Except for if it's the guys taking really scary bumps on their head. Like Like we saw Josh Josh Briggs take one and we saw uh, Kyle Fletch take one. Oh, we did. We, uh, yeah, there's like a, th- a thick boy three way from the NXT, N- NXT show, the mini weekend. And they did an, uh, so a guy has a guy in a DVD. Yeah. Oh, but, that's not even the scary one I was talking about. I was talking about the, cat, oh, the catch the oh, kick, catch the they, kick. They also did to double backflip and yeah. Josh Briggs quit halfway through. Yeah, oh, he, he got no. real scared of the backflip and then just took like a really bad neck bump. Yeah. But the other one, which, which went as good as it could have gone, but a guy has a guy in a DVD. But the guy doing the DVD is also in an electric chair. <laughs> oh, God. And, 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 and he, he walked away from the corner. He got two or three steps away. And it, yeah, looked, it looked with, impressive. With, two, with, and with then, two six foot six guys on top of him. Yeah, crazy. Like, it, was, it was impressive. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, Shout out to black icon Oba Femi. Cody Rhodes. And Cody, Cody Rhodes. Raheem Rhodes. Cody Raheem Rhodes. <laughs> uh, next up is the match that we didn't know officially what it was when we did the podcast. Oh, yeah. But we assumed there would be a Latino's three-way or four-way, or sorry, uh, eight-man or six-man, 
It, it was a tag. Just being a tag that was announced as Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee against Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. Yeah. Uh, but then However, they, they did a gimmick on SmackDown where Dragon Lee got taken out by uh, Fant- uh, Ligo Del Fantasma. And so the only guy that could replace him was who I thought was clearly not turning on Rey Mysterio on Andrade obvious El heel turn in the world noted unlikable man Andrade uh so we predicted or uh, Dave Meltzer gave it three and three quarters the cage match is a 5.60 which reflects significantly less than uh, three and three quarters but we uh, do I speak for everyone in that we liked it oh yeah uh, we liked I really it a lot liked it. it was good uh y- Scott you said you predicted two and three quarters Kelly said two and three quarters I said a three we also all three said that the heels would win, which we were wrong about because Andrade, uh, not only did he not turn heel, has still not turned Remains heel. Remains <laughs> a good guy. Very weird. The hell is going very on? Um, that three and three quarters and a 5.6 is very low. Yeah, I think that's yeah. low. It was a really solid Lucha match. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was. And like the chops were insanely oh my God. mean. Yeah. Andrade yeah. at one point had a very yes. clearly defined hand and, mark yes. from yeah. Santos Escobar yeah. that just stayed there the rest of the match. They did the very cool uh, Cruz del Toro stands on the second row. No. Launch. Is it him or DJZ? It might be Joaquin. Joaquin. I don't know. One yeah. of them. Stands on the second rope outside on the apron while the bad guys are in the entranceway. And Carlito and the other one grab the second rope, give him a couple bounces, and then... Yeah. Fucking sh- rocket him! Yeah, shoot him up in the air, and it's it's a such a cool spot. I'll tell you what, I was walking to the rewind button to see that spot again. Uh huh. Um, yeah, v- very low rating. Uh, I definitely am going to go higher. Is this the best match so far? Four and three quarters. Uh, not that high, but I will go. I'm going to go three and three and. Three and three, <laughs> three and three quarters. I want to overrate it. You gave it the same as Dave. I did, and both much higher than what cage match would reflect. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'd give it three and three quarters. So you both think better than the first two matches? Uh, yeah, I yeah. think so. Hmm. I think so. I think Be- Becky and Rhea was a real, like we said, like a SmackDown main event. Yeah. And yeah, but you the, ta- hate, the tag match we said you guys like hate women and I love them. The safest tag match ever, <laughs> yeah. or the safest ladder match ever. And I don't know, like this one, I thought everything was really smooth. Dom's got great heat. Like, yeah. it wasn't too like overdone with beating up Ray and hot tags, and the interference was fine. Have and, I given everything three and a half? And we so discovered far? that uh, Alberto Carrillo is the most like jacked person on the planet. Yeah. Who is who barely wrestles? Oh yeah, I'm like, who's that? Yeah, you're like who's the ripped one? He had 17 abs. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh so far you have done a th- three and a half, a yeah. three and a half, and this uh, one. Th- I'm gonna buck the trend with this <gasps> one and go three and a half. <laughs> uh, I can't say it was better than the first two, but I can't say it was worse. Also, why wasn't Dragon Lee there? Yeah, like why I don't know. Why it, I mean, I guess if you want the Andrade storyline, you give him a push, whatever, that's cool. But like, you could have just done Andrade to begin with. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I guess he was vaguely heel and then turning face to join Ray. I guess I don't know why Dragon Lee gets, what? Fu- gets fucked in this scenario. Whatever. Uh, next up, we have the Blood Feud. The, oh. the third ever, or fourth, uh, or, or fourth if you do it in kayfabe, brother versus brother, brother versus brother, WrestleMania Shane versus Stephanie. Yep. <laughs> uh, Jay Uso defeats Jimmy Uso eleven minutes. Yep. Dave Meltzer gave it three quarters That's of a star. Fucking generous. Cage match <laughs> gave it a two point eight six. <laughs> Damn. Uh, we, you guys said Jimmy, I said the main event, Jay. So and I got it right. learn to never dispute you. Because um, we thought there'd be more feud. Also, the way the match was going, you, you would have kept betting Jimmy until the end where Jay just won. Yeah. Yep. It was so weird. Uh, the, uh, we, sorry, we, we gave it, uh, Scott, you predicted three and a quarter. 
Kelly said oh, so three. I didn't, I didn't go too high. Kelly said three. Okay. I also said three and a quarter. Okay, so we didn't go. We were like, oh, it's going to be four and a half. This, this was so bad. Can I... This might be one of the worst WrestleMania matches of all time. It's fucking I, I bad. think someone pointed out that it was either rated the same or lower Take than <laughs> the Bolsheviks versus than Jerry Lawler versus Michael. Oh, Cole. like yeah. I, I the the Usos continue to confound me <laughs> when, it, when it comes. I'm writing that down to WrestleMania. Because they don't want to do anything. Why don't they want to Why do don't anything? they want to fucking... You're on... It's WrestleMania. Like, and they want a singles on WrestleMania. Yeah. The only thing I... Like, and again, you don't have to, like, drop each other on your heads no. or anything like that. But fuck... Do anything. There was... We counted. There was 17 super yeah. kicks and three splashes. That's the whole <laughs> fucking match. I was, was going to say, Ed, we didn't need to count anything else because nope. that was all and the like, moves. A, yeah. a lot of it was... What squ- the fuck happened? Did it square up? I throw a punch, you throw a punch. I throw a punch, you throw a punch. Yeah. Then start selling them a little bit mm-hmm. and then get tough again. Yeah. And then then do the same thing with super kicks back and forth. And like it, it wasn't even it wasn't wrestling at all. No, it was it the was, story. It was the story. It was striking. Yeah. It's one it of the biggest failures of a match I've seen in recent memory. Yeah. Because yeah. both of them in theory are in theory are good. good. Yeah. I don't know if and you guys put on know good this. matches. I don't know if you uh, now uh, let me take you in the wayback machine. Uh, don't flick my ear and then celebrate flicking my ear, piece of shit. Let me take you in the Wayback Machine, uh, 12 months into the distant past, where the Usos had a five-star yeah. main event with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at last year's Mania. What, uh, what has happened in the entire- My only guess would be that they are making such good money that they want to keep this going, so do as the least amount of work you can to wrestle twenty more well, WrestleMania. If they've learned anything from their father, it's all about money. Yeah. So yeah, uh, like don't don't even risk anything. Like continue, just keep riding yeah. the train. Or like, or maybe what they were going, they were doing, they thought was good. I mean, I, that's I probably think it. I but. well, they ought, they didn't set out to have a bad match. No, of course. So I think they had a plan and it failed. Yeah. Did the crowd really? start turning on it? I can't remember. Well, sort of. Not as, they kind of stopped the, paying attention. The day one crowd was a lot weaker than yes. the day two crowd. They were, they were quiet for a fair bit of stuff on day one. I think they were cold. They might have been cold, to be fair. We kept having the WrestleMania weather updates. <laughs> that yeah. was funny. Yeah. And, and it's so funny because like for non-wrestlers saying, oh no, it's it's 52 degrees and 45 with the windshield. We're like, that's an awesome so, temperature to wrestle in. Yes. It, yeah. um, not to be a fan. Yeah. Unless, you're, yeah, not, it, it sucks to sit and watch for four and a half hours. Sure. But like for the wrestlers, that's not too cold. No. P.S. Like unless you're like well into like below freezing temperatures, it's nice to wrestle. Cause like you warm up in 30 seconds because you're doing shit. You're moving. It, you're not going to get too cold unless it's fucking freezing. I was thinking of the opposite with that GCW show in Florida where all those schlubs were just vomiting and <laughs> passing out yeah. in the heat. Yeah. <laughs> I did hear today that they're considering moving WrestleMania to May. And I also they, heard that. And they will no longer be doing it in the Northeast. Oh. Sad. So... It'll just be a lot of California, Dallas, and I guess Vegas at some point. Oh, it, definitely Vegas. Oh, I, they're, they're, they did. I did hear them talking about doing. Are they doing Vegas next year? Uh, they haven't announced, they haven't which announced is weird it. because it was supposed they, to be Minnesota. Well, it was supposed to be announced at Mania. What next year's Mania is like? They do every year, but it, and like, and I think they had even said they were going to, and then they didn't. So I don't know if something fell through or if a better offer came along. But everyone was saying Minneapolis, but now there's a lot of Vegas talk. So I don't know. Well, Vegas, Vegas is honestly like the hottest thing going right now. Yeah, yeah. and if they could do it inside the sphere. That would be awesome. That'd be sick, but it's too small. I know it's way too small, but yeah. that'd be so cool. Yeah. Um, I've they, been inside. No big they, deal. They could do the NXT pay-per-view from in there. They could. They could do Stand and Deliver 2025 inside the sphere. That's pretty sick. That would be cool. Could you imagine how cool that would be? I, I genuinely, that would be the coolest thing I could ever I could ever think of. Is wrestling it, inside the, the sphere <laughs> in Vegas. That whole wall behind you becomes your Titan Tron. Oh, yeah. Ooh, as you cool. enter. Like yeah. that's such a fucking cool thing. The sphere was very cool. 
I will say. Yeah. I I wish Brag. we had. Uh, well, I wish we. I don't know. Had sat. I don't know. Cheaper. Uh, two two rows different and saved a hundred American dollars. But uh, what do I know? Well, that's I'm, why you don't let Daddy Daddy Adam <laughs> do the things he wants to do. Dadam. Dadam. Don't let Dadam do his thing. Mm-hmm. You gotta stop him. Lesson learned. Um. Yeah. I. I mean. I assume by judging by Kelly's reaction, uh, you're giving it a dud. I want to give it a dud. I mean, you, you I, very much can. I want to give it a dud, but I'm going to give it. Yeah. Four, four and a quarter. Stars. I'll give it half a star. So less you, less so than you, Dave. You didn't. You liked it less than Dave did. Okay. You liked it less than Dave, who liked it less than Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler. Which is fair. Don't get me wrong. Um. I'm honestly not afraid to give it a dud, and I'm giving it a dud. That's interesting because I was telling everyone you were afraid to give it a dud. Oh, well, so that good. I'm glad you lied. You, to, I'm glad you lied to more people. You have made me eat my words, sir. I'll make you eat something else. You have made me eat my words and my poo. Your poo. <laughs> uh, am I afraid to give it a dud? Eat your poo. <laughs> no. Even I'm... if you're afraid to eat your poo, <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> Are you afraid to give it a dud? No. Done? <laughs> I'm not. Kelly, do you, like, do you wish to rescind your uh, Kelly knows half what he's a star? Don't tell Kelly okay, to do job. I kind of want to. Because <laughs> I you... originally was thinking, I need to give this a dud. No, you I'm can. Like, if you I want to. You, you can enact your one steal. Dud me! Oh! <laughs> Dud- Call me. Kelly's a dud- Dudley do right. Nice. Brendan Fraser? Yeah. O- Oscar winner, Oscar Dudley do right. Oscar winner who gets no work because everybody still doesn't want to use him because they're like. Because they're, cause they're worried that. Blackballing him still. I, no, I think they're worried they'll molest him too. I mean, he's pretty handsome. He is yeah. handsome. Uh, you try not to molest Brendan Fraser. Next up it's is the impossible. other match that we didn't he's know. He's gorgeous in George of the Jungle. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He's, he's yeah. gorgeous in lots of things. I think he's pretty attractive in the first two Mummy movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I he's think, a handsome guy. I think he's gorgeous in, in the Sea whale because I can see past physical. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, this, I see inner beauty. This is the uh, second match that we didn't know was happening, but we had guessed would happen. We assumed it would be Oscar and Kyrie defending the women's tag team titles against Bianca and Biela, Belair and Naomi. But y'all forgot about Jade. About the storm. They're calling her the storm. Yeah. Is Jane, it because she's Storm like cargo? Is she like X Men? It's because she that, looks like X Men. That's the deal. And they're racist. Yeah. And she played for the Seattle Storm. And she's a perfect human specimen. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. No, no one in the world is more sexually attractive than she, Jade Cargill. She is the best of us. Also, we're, we're this is a rare occasion. We're not being sarcastic. Yeah. She's just look, look her up. I, I've actually had uh, people associated with me in my life yeah. who aren't wrestling fans uh-huh. who say, oh, I follow one wrestler and like they go to look for it. And I go, oh, is it Jane? Is it Jane Cargill? Cargill? Yes. Like, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, for is it, good reason. Is it because she's perfect? Yeah. <laughs> the I I really I got to enjoy a very special thing. I got to enjoy seeing someone see Jade Cargill li- live or in any capacity for the first time when i went to uh all in in chicago in 2021 with uh ben from drunken peasants and we had like pretty good seats so you could see um you could see all the wrestlers very well and uh she came out and like seeing ben see this specimen (laughs) for the first time and and just like i've never seen wider eyes and he's like she is striking (laughs) it was Awesome. Like you look at it her. It was awesome. You look at her and it's almost like looking at Medusa. Yeah. Not yeah. the wrestler Medusa, no, the no. mythical <laughs> Gorgon. Yeah. Gorgon. Yeah. Of she... like you see it and you're just like, oh my God. And you're, you're like, you're, you're frozen in place. You're in, you're become stone. Yeah. She, or, or as hard as a uh, rock. She is the best of us. Yeah. Uh, Not at wrestling though, although she did fine here because she did two moves and, yeah. and did it. She was very well protected. Bianca Belair, J- Jade Cargill, and Naomi defeat Damage Control of Asuka, Dakota Kai, and Kairi Sane. They only go eight minutes. Dave gave it two stars. Uh, Cage Master is a 5 3 6. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Scott and I said the Kabuki Warriors would win, and Kelly said that the African Americans would win. Good job, Kelly. Uh, so good for you. Uh, Scott, you said three and a quarter. I said three, or Kelly said three and a half. I said three and three quarters mm. because we thought it was the tag match. Yeah. Um, factoring in one more uh, only okay and not that great member on each team. Uh, yeah. It's a little high. I don't know if it's yeah. a two, Dave, but they. I mean, two's pretty bad. Two is, uh, what would you describe a two-star match as? Fair? Because like sure three is, three is good. Yeah, I go I go three and a half or two and a half is like average. an average match. Yeah, that's right? fair. So two, two is slightly be- below slightly average. below average. Three is good. Four is great, and go up from there. Sure. We'll, What's six? Six and three quarters is is super great. Godlike. Yeah. The uh, the only thing I really remember with this match was just uh, Bianca yeah, Belair being like whipping Oscar. Well, there's that. There was the good, the one good whip. Just her being the workhorse of the match. Yes, like she did everything. She did everything. Yeah. yeah. While her two partners, like Naomi's, good but not great, and yeah. they obviously. I mean, Jade didn't do anything until she got tagged at the end. Right? Correct. So that's her role. That yeah. is her role. Uh, future women's world champion. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, so. I'm gonna go two and three quarters. That seems like a reasonable number for this match. Yeah, if... Unless you want to give it three and a half and keep it going, Scott. I, I, you know what? I don't want to give it three and a half. Mm-hmm. I want to hug and kiss you. Um, but as far as the rating, uh, like if it was just on... like, And it very well could have just been on SmackDown because uh, they didn't do a lot. I, I can't tell you one thing. I know... Jade won with her move. Yep. And that's the Oh, end she of had like a toss up with Kyrie, like a like a, a grabber by the head, throw her up into like the choke and Kyrie mm. like saw someone yep. salt out of it and Oscar did a kick, sound- kick or something. That sounds like something that happened. Know, something like that. Two uh, and you gave it two and three quarters? Two and three quarters. I'm between two and a quarter and two and a half. Well, I'm giving you two and a quarter because that's what you said first. <laughs> you know what? You got me there. Okay. I'll say two and a half. All right. Split the difference. Yep. Uh, after that, we got the semi-main event. Uh, WWE Intercontinental title match. Sami Zayn defeating Gunther, breaking his streak of 666, 666 days. days. Kelly, what do you think about that? No. <laughs> uh, Dave, Dave Meltzer gave it four and a half. The cage match is an 8.51. Okay. We all said Sami would win. Yep. Uh, Scott, you and I said four and a half. Yep. Kelly said four and three quarters. Hmm. Um, Thoughts? I'm very close to enacting my one steal and taking Kelly's rating. Ooh. Dangerous. It was exceptionally good. Yeah. It was great and it was simple in a good way. Yeah. Yes. Like it was nothing that fancy. It was just, I guess, besides the Brain Buster at the end. Brain Buster at the end, yeah, it was really good. Which but like, was awesome. The heat was great for it. Like, the crowd really got back up for this match. They got the crowd back. Um, yeah. They had just, like, great ring psychology. Like, nothing felt yeah. out of place, blown. Like, they didn't drag it on too long. I mean, mm-hmm. they went... How long did they They go? went 15 and a half, but it did not feel no, like a 15 didn't. and that a half a, minute match. And that, that's, a, that's, like, the right length they should have got. Yep. And the the finish was awesome. The brain buster and then the hell of a kick, hell of a kick. Yeah. Like it was everything. It was like and then just like collapse on him for the perfect thing. heat. Yeah. Like perfectly great. Like fired up. There was back. a couple was, like brutal Gunther power bombs. Yeah. Brutal Gunther power bombs and like some brutal chops. Like yeah. always. Uh, I'm I'm. I mean, it, I don't want to spoil anything, but it is the best match of the weekend. I think. Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna steal Kelly's four and three quarters. Yeah, I'm be- I'm between four and a half and four and three quarters. Well, four and a half because that's what you said first. <laughs> hey, you, let, let me actually think about that one while Kelly says a thing. <laughs> uh, I want to order last. I haven't decided on what I'm having for my appetizer, so I'll you guys order and then I'll order last. You son of a bitch. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. Like, I mean, yeah, the match was great and all that stuff. I hated like the montage thing up like that sets up to the match because mm-hmm. it was all like the weird like. Because it's like that thing where the W is like, we kind of want to be a movie, 
yeah. where like they have Sammy being trained by Chad Gable. We're making movies, pal. Yeah, exactly. And it's all like this, and like they ripped it. I know, like they ripped it off. I think they ex- they ripped off Rocky Four like almost word for word in yes. one of the scenes. Yes. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, also, uh, uh, New Day in the ladder match because uh, Xavier was. Oh right, consequences creed. It uh, it didn't occur to us, that, and we're, and we're like, Kofi must be dressed as someone too. He was dressed as Rocky. It was Rocky and Creed. Ah! Yeah. We're stupid. Yeah, we are stupid. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry, can I just say you're mentioning. I'm keeping it as is. Four and three quarters. Yeah, and well, uh, I don't. Well, then I don't want to be. I don't want to. You want to go back to three and a half? Yeah, I'll go back to three and a half. four and three quarters. God, everyone's a bully. Well, don't be so dorky and ugly, weirdo. Uh, main event was Bloodline Rules. If Rock and Roman win... Wait, this match was Bloodline Rules too? Oh, I mean, sort of. It was a just do whatever the fuck you want match. It was, but it wasn't official. Okay, it was it wasn't a different official. kind of do whatever the fuck uh, you want. The Bloodline of Roman Reigns and The Rock defeat Cody Rose and Seth Rollins uh, 44 minutes and 34 seconds. Whoa. This is the longest the match I've ever seen. second longest so match long. of all, in WrestleMania history. The first match being a 60-minute Iron Man match. Yeah. So intentionally going 60 minutes. Yeah. Uh, plus, because they went longer. Yeah. Um, this is the the longest match that what the longest match of all time that wasn't guaranteed to go 60 minutes yes uh all three of us said the bloodline yes uh because we know how to book dave gave it four dave the cage match is a 7.36 um you said three and a half scott kelly said three and a quarter and i said three dave gave it four yeah cage match was 7.3 you said 7.36. 7.36. Which reflects about a three and a half. Both of those are too high. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this was the longest thing that had ever happened. I don't know how ever. much I enjoyed this match. I, I, I think I actually, I think tiny, I do. And that I didn't enjoy there, this. Match. There were tiny Continue parts moments, of it that yeah. I liked, be, but I think it was more so of nostalgia purposes. Yeah. Because it's the rock. Uh-huh. Uh, I did like that at one point the crowd very much turned on Cody and was cheering for The Rock. Yeah. Um, but then that kind of swerved back around. I think The Rock kind of got the crowd back on Cody's yeah. side. And um, they did a really smart thing in the main of day two. Yes. To make sure that the crowd was against the right person. Yeah. Um, it was, there was a lot of outside brawling. I'm going to say 25 minutes so of it. Much yeah, like they, they fought up in the crowd and then to like a production area. And like stage. And a, the and, stage. And, and didn't do anything. No. Nope. No. While they were nope. brawling. I, they like, just brawled. Obviously, you're protecting The Rock, right? The Rock is worth billions of dollars. He's old as shit. Yeah. Uh, he obviously has got lots of other ventures going that he can't be hurt for. So you protect the rock. You don't need to do 45 minutes of brawling and Gaga and kill yeah, I time. Don't, I don't know why like they could have done less than 30 and it would have been the same match. Yeah. You, you, you slice 20 minutes off this match. It's a hundred times better. Yeah. I don't know why it possibly needed to go this long. The Rock did say the F word. <laughs> the Rock swore okay, the, so many times. The Rock's discovery of swearing at age 50 is one of the Pathetic? things. Oh. No, is one of the things that's keeping me alive. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's so cute. <laughs> and he's like the only one that can get away with it. <laughs> yeah. And, and he like. Yeah, really? Like he actually is. And he's going hard with it. Yeah. Like he's he's not he didn't like say shit once. He said fuck a hundred times. <laughs> it's awesome. Well when you got one favorite swear, you use your favorite yeah. swear. Like in nineteen ninety seven when Bret Hart learned the word ass. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time. <laughs> oh, did you just knock your water over everywhere? I knocked the water over with the cap on, so how about it's it's patented Yeti mag safe. Hey Scott, technology. why don't you pick up that bag of Doritos using only your feet? I thought I had prehensile toes. Um, I was told wrong. Uh, three of uh, the threes and a bits we gave it are very are high. I mean it just it was nothing. The finish the finish was the finish. The finish was what it needed to be. Yep. The rock beats Cody clean with a people's elbow. <laughs> 
That's right. He won uh, the title with that. Yeah. I know, I know probably, but it, it probably just, more than one. It just seems so silly for a 50 year old oh, yeah, for sure. beefed up rock to beat him with a people's elbow. Yeah. But I mean, it, it is what it is. Like, The Rock didn't look bad. No, credit, they, like, credit to Rock. Like, he, it was paced okay that Rock didn't get blown up. Didn't get blown up. He had and, one and funny he try had to one, kick he, Seth and fall over into the ropes. He had one little kick and fall down. Uh, which I think but, he then yelled at the crowd to shut the fuck up. Of course he did. Uh, at one point, he also told the referee, because they were on the outside brawling, and he told don't the referee, count. if you keep fucking, if you, <laughs> you're, yeah, fucking you're, uh, you're fucking fired if you don't stop counting. Uh, yeah. And he's like, and you know I can fire you, mm-hmm. which was well, good. It's good. I like I like heel rock. Yep, no, that's funny. Um, yeah, three. I think even my three is high. I'm gonna go two and a half. I had two and a half in my head, but I oh, almost, but you're, so you're I, steal? No, but I almost want to just go two. Okay, like I don't think I'm typing two. I don't think I liked it. <laughs> well, it was make, too damn long. That decision, I'll oh. say it was a two. Fair enough. Oops, I Kelly will. Uh, I accidentally pushed three, so Kelly gave it a three. <laughs> Make a note that Kelly's two was more confident than mine. My two had balls. Mm-hmm. With stuff tattooed on them. Yeah. Man, man Mountain Rock. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, that was the end of the day. I like how most of the things you have to remember are 1995 gimmicks. Yeah. Anyways. Friar Tuck. <laughs> nice. Friar Ferguson. Friar Ferguson, sorry. Friar Tuck's the real thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. You don't have brain damage. Was he a mole or a bear in the Disney? Friar movie? Tuck was a mole. Mole, right? Uh, in Disney. No, Robin maybe or? a bear. No, ba- Little John's bear. Little John was a bear. <sighs> Friar Tuck's not also going to be a bear. No, he was either a mole or like a, some kind of burrowing animal. Got to be a burrower. Yeah, I guess he's a mole. I don't know. He lo- he kind of looks like a bear. Yeah, see? That's, oh. This is very bearish. He sort of is a bear, but doesn't have very bear hands. No, but he's got bear ears, and I think it's just because of the, the fryer haircut. Does he have It the... makes him look like a mole. Does, does, he, does he abide by the Second Amendment? Does he have the right to bear arms? He does. Okay. Does, is there a Wikipedia? I, I'm literally... <laughs> Robin <at> Wiki? <laughs> I mean, there definitely is. Friar Tuck Disney Animal. There's a there's a Disney wiki fandom. Friar Tuck is the tritagonist. Okay, get out of here. He's always uh, a badger. He's a badger. Oh, okay. Originally to be a pig. But <laughs> fun trivia from the good people at the Internet Movie Database. Uh, originally, Friar Tuck was to be a pig, but was changed to a badger to avoid insulting religious sensibilities. Aww. Can't have any Christian pigs. Ah, well, g- good to know. Better go tell all those pigs on the farm, uh, Pictons. Sorry, guys, <laughs> you can't be Christian. <laughs> You can keep eating. You can keep eating those dead native women, but uh, th- no, no praying to Jesus. <laughs> so you don't think prolific serial killer William Picton's pigs uh, are are going to heaven? I don't think so. That's sad. I don't think they can be christened. <laughs> uh, anyways, day two. Feeding dead native prostitutes to unbaptized pigs. Day two. Uh, this time they said the this number. This time it's personal. The number was the same or bigger. I th- they, they always say day two is, day, is, people is a bigger. few people yeah. bigger, even though both are just sellouts. So, uh, so the open, they'll be the same. Opening match was for the WWE World Heavyweight title. Uh, Drew McIntyre defeats Seth Rollins to win the title. How long did it go? Uh, uh, 10 minutes, what? 40 seconds. I, okay. Like, there was, I will tell you every move in this match. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Claymore. Yep. Double arm DDT. Go, go curb stomp. Go curb stomp. Curb stomp. That's it. The end? The yeah, end. Pretty like, much. I hate those matches. Yep. Like, yeah, it was a real. Uh, well, if, if you're going to do that, make it short. Yeah. Yeah. It do, was a real... do five minutes. Oh, sorry. There was a couple belly to bellies on the outside, which actually looked really good. Oh, yeah. Those were actually good. And, oh, yeah. And they were the opposite of uh, Big E killers. Yeah, definitely. Seth, Seth jumped a hundred miles yeah. in the air. On a bad knee. On a bad knee. Oh, yeah. Uh, Seth, I guess maybe yesterday or today, had knee surgery. Oh. So, he, got, he got injured by uh, wrestling recent fiery Jinder Mahal. Yeah, in January, and then basically couldn't wrestle until Mania, yeah. and then toughed out Mania, but I guess needed surgery, so here we are. And, like, uh, Seth's entrance uh, reminded me of 
What, oh, we did. What, it, was every entrance in WrestleMania fucking stupid? Yeah. <laughs> like everybody's entrance was garbage. Yeah. Just nonsensical garbage. So was, was Seth day two, was that like the, the Mardi, Mardi, the Mardi, Mardi Gras, Gras shit? And, yeah. and day one was just, oh, day one he was wearing like a, a big flower <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, on big his flower robe. dress. Seth Rollins is a, looks like a fucking asshole. Yeah. He's the biggest loser in wrestling. He's a clown and I hate him. Good wrestler, yeah. hate everything else about him. Uh, I hate his personality. I hate his. I hate his jerk off look. I hate his jerk off. I hate his wife. jerk off name. I hate his jerk off face, and I hate you, jerk off. And his wife. And your and jerk off kid whose name is Rue. And your jerk off R O U X. Yep. Uh, yeah. She's named after what you make gravy with. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Meltzer gave it three and a half. The cage match is a 7.53. Uh, we, uh, Scott said Drew, and Kelly and I said Seth. Fools. Uh, you and Kelly said four stars. I said four and a quarter stars. I mean, it could have been. Yeah, it could have yeah, been if Seth, if, if Seth was 100%. And, and if it wasn't a Paul Heyman special finisher fest. Yep. Um, it was, yeah, like we said, it was fine. It, it was it was good. It was good. Could, could have been better. Yeah. Uh, could have been worse. It was a very like it was a secondary PLE main event. Yeah, I will be giving it my first ever <laughs> three and a half stars. Three and a half stars. Um, and now that's confidence. Uh, I'll give it uh, seven thumbs up. I wish. Uh, <laughs> I wish. What, what an interesting response to that. <laughs> I give it a three. I'm also going to give it a three, but I wrote mine first, we, so you uh, stole it from there, me. And Technically, then, that's copying. We should mention mm-hmm. after uh, <laughs> uh, Drew McIntyre won, <laughs> he went up to the the announce table, stood on it, and started talking to CM Punk. Yeah, Punk oh, was doing was commentary. Like the funniest thing yeah. on either night. And like he was jaw jacking him, and Punk's just sitting there listening like, to him. I was like, "Why are you yelling at me? You I'm should wear- be out there enjoying." No, I think the, yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. And then he's yeah. like yelling at him more. He's like, "I can't hear a word you're saying." I'm, I'm wearing cans. Hands. I can't yeah. hear a word well, you're no, saying. I think, I think Drew, <laughs> Drew said something like, "I hope you understand." Something, something, something. Yeah. Like, and Punk said, "I hope you understand. I can't hear a word you're saying because I'm wearing cans." Ah, oh, it's perfect. Oh, I've man. I've never hated Seth and liked CM Punk more. Yeah, yeah. And then Damian Priest came out. Oh uh, yeah. So so McIntyre uh, was he celebrating has Kelly and its bisexual Undertaker. Yes. <laughs> uh, McIntyre was celebrating and Punk uh, cheap shot him, took his elbow brace off, hit him with the elbow brace. Yeah. Put it back on. Priest's music played. He ran down. They handed him the briefcase, the senior money in the bank. Yep. Uh, this time they didn't do a bad job of you're you're cashing this in right now. Oh my you want to use this right now. Yeah. So right now, while your opponent is laying unconscious, the ring, <laughs> they, you want to yeah, use this they, they to cash in they to get a little match. A who's on first routine? Yeah. He comes in. Ref does it. They go right fucking away. He throws hits him in the a ring. move. Pins him. It's a uh, did, did he? No, he hit a move. Kick out. No, no, uh, didn't he? No, one, he move. one move pin. Mm. It was like it, it's. I think it's listed as like a, a six second match or something. Yeah, it's like choke slam. Uh, seven, you're right. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it was the sick choke set up choke slam, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Priest wins the title. Punk has a good old chuckle, and now remember when Priest was supposed the, to be turning face for like a year leading up to this. First Puerto Rican world champion in fifty years, besides Cody Rhodes. He's Cuban. <laughs> My mistake. And also, this was before Cody. You know, this well, C- Cody was a, a the Cuban world champion uh, <laughs> of ROH. Gotcha. Uh, next up was the six man tag Philadelphia Street Fight. We called the shit out of this one because it wasn't announced. It wasn't one announced, day. but nope. we knew it was happening. Good uh, for us. Special guest referee Bubba Ray Dudley. We didn't call that. <laughs> Uh, the Pride, which we didn't know that's what they were called. I had a dumb joke in my head. Oh. Tell your dumb joke. <laughs> when we were talking about the Cuban thing, I was like, you know, there was a time where Cubans could not call their dogs. It was known as the Cuban whistle crisis. No, no. I won't I won't allow it. Do I'll not like clap it. for yourself. No, I like it. I'm in. No, Drew. I'm Team Kelly. No. Oh, he's Barry Horowitz. Oh, he's doing a full self-pat on the back. Drew doesn't like it. Drew just has op- oppositional defiant disorder and likes it because I don't. Correct. <laughs> not going to deny it. If I, not if, even going to pretend like that's not the true if, answer. If I had liked it, Drew would not have. 100%. 100%. <laughs> Got to be opposite, Scott, because I hate him so much. Even though you're being delightful today. <laughs> you're being delightful, but you have to go. 
Uh, so the Pride, which we didn't know that that's what they were called. Yeah, um, and, and the final testament. Angelo Dawkins, Bobby Lashley, and Montez Ford with B Fab. Who recently were heels. Yeah, in, like they're trying to make trying to make them heels. In spite of the fans yeah. who refused to boo them. They defeat the final testament of Acom. So now they're now they're faces again and they just get cheered less. Acom, Karrion Cross, <laughs> I Raz- don't know. Razor <laughs> with Paul Ring and Scarlet. Uh Meltzer gave it one and three quarters. Solid. The cage match is a 5-4-2. Okay. Uh, we all... Oh, Scott and I said the pl- the prides, and Kelly said the, the testament. Racist. Uh, one and a half from Scott, two from Kelly, one from me. We're I'm, all in the ballpark? I'm sticking to my one. Um, it wasn't... It was boring. Uh, the authors of pain got taken out very easily, oh, so early. and then just were out for a part the, the rest of the match. Yeah, then just like three black guys gang beat a, a nice white man and for most. Do of you the remember match. the amazing spot involving? B-Fab I remember a and very Scarlet? funny little spot involving our favorite wrestler on either side, B Fab and Scarlet. Yep, O'Hara. Scarlet O'Hara. <laughs> uh, B Fab came she, in. Does she have a last name? And she no. She's just Scarlet. She, she was Scarlet Bordeaux. Bordeaux. But, but not WWE. Gotcha. Uh, so the Karen Cross. In relation to Parker Boudreaux. Could be. The next Bobby Lashley. Yeah. Um, so B-Fab came in and broke up a pinfall from Karen Cross with hitting him with a chair. Uh, Let me... <laughs> Scarlet got in the ring uh-huh. behind her. Yeah. Picked up an unused garbage can. It just really gave her the business. Got it way up over her head. The yep. highest she's ever lifted she, anything she was in gonna her get, life. She was going to get her so good. Um, and gave her the meanest, most vicious, <laughs> like, corner of the can, cut open the back of her head, blast with that garbage can that that woman could even muster. Or she barely touched her. I don't know if she touched her. (laughs) It was the top one safest thing. It was a real. I'm gonna move my hands like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, it was. It was real sad. Was there? uh, Was there something funny with the accompanying women in the lucha match on day one too? Did Zelina and. the other one, Electra. Electra Lopez. I think they did something uh, less than perfect as well. Probably. But I don't remember what, because it was many years ago. But uh, yeah, don't just don't don't make them wrestle. Not not every woman has to wrestle. Something they can just, be managers. They make just, the same money. They can just hang out. It's fine. Yeah. Don't make them wrestle if they're bad. Yeah. And a lot. And guess what? A lot are bad. A lot are bad. Unless they're Japanese or the occasional Mexican or black. Um, yeah, I mean, there was like a dumb spot where Bubba Ray, like, just kind of turned full face, put the public glasses on. I would describe him as a biased referee. Made the pride get tables. They could put them through the tables. Yeah. It was And the table worked fine? Oh, perfectly. Yeah. It uh, completely... Didn't collapse the first time? Didn't just shred. (laughs) Just crumble like it was made of uh, shreddies. That was the finish, right? That was finished. Yeah. And then they brought in a second table that, that, that they worked better. put them through. Yeah. Uh, it was like a raw first half main event. Yeah. It like, yeah, it was not, it was not a TV main event. It was either. nothing. Uh, I'm sticking with one. I forgot it even happened until you talked about it. Well, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the way you want to remember WrestleMania, Kelly. You want to not remember it. One and a half. You're sticking with it? Yeah. Oh, is that what I predicted? Yep. I'm fucking Kelly? killing it. Same with your two. Going lower? No, I'll go lower. Going higher? Uh, Four? One. I give it a one. And a quarter? Oh, okay. So oh. enacting his one steal to take my one. Uh, next up, a singles match between Los Angeles Knight, <laughs> uh, defeating AJ Styles, 12 minutes, three and a half, 6.81 on cage match. Uh, we, f- we all said LA Knight. Yes. Um, we, you said two and three quarters. I Kelly said two. I said two and a half. Um, I think it was better than we all expected it to be. Yeah, I think so. Uh, now ask me anything that happened yeah, in it, I, and yeah. I will tell you. I can't remember. AJ thing, yeah. did a good Styles Clash off the second rope. I don't did think he? that happened. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think. Did he, he did. do a cool? I think he did a good forearm. 
Probably. Did he do the spiral tap? No, because his, his huge body doesn't know how to do it anymore. Uh, yeah, I, like, honestly, I don't think I remember a single thing from this match. I remember uh, AJ doing a very good job, which is not something he always does at WrestleMania. His second best WrestleMania match it's ever. It's legitimately probably his second yep. best WrestleMania match behind Shane McMahon, and that's yep. not a joke. Uh, and LA held his end up. He did yeah. fine. Yeah, he was yeah. fine. He's a boring wrestler, but he didn't do anything yeah, but bad. He's, and like, he's technically sound. Yeah, like he's he, serviceable. he was fine, and he, he was with a non-boring wrestler, so he wasn't boring. And he's super over, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. As long as the crowd's behind him, it doesn't matter how bad of a wrestler he is. Yeah. John Cena did it for 30 years. That's correct. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll bump it to it. I'll bump it to a three. I will confidently bump it up to a three. Yeah, despite not remembering a single thing. Oh, I know it was good and I know we liked it. So that's why. Here's the two, the two things I remember. I remember going, this is a good match. I, like, AJ's doing a good job and so is the other guy. I'm enjoying this more than I thought it would. I remember that. And I remember it being the opposite of a finisher fest. They had a wrestling match and then one guy hit his finisher once and pinned him. Yep, that's yeah. true. And that's a three and a quarter in my books, pal. Okay. Okay. I, I, you the man. You, you the man. man. You the man. man. <laughs> uh, Kelly? What did I give it? You, you, you gave it a hundred, oddly. <laughs> you predicted a two. I mean, I, I, it was better, but I still don't remember a <laughs> single fucking thing from it, so I don't know how to rate this. You might have, at some point, you did have a small nap. You and Kevin both had you small You and Kevin nap. both had small yeah. naps. I don't remember when, though. Uh, oh, is this what... Oh, no. Kevin went outside to smoke during the Mexicans yeah. and then saw the Usos. And he was like, ah, oh, I should have done it the other way around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, towards the end of, of, of the second day, like you and Kevin both uh, snoozed Checked for it. a little bit. I mean, I guess I'll, Reasonable. Give, I guess I'll give it a three just because I... I mean, because I remember it being better, but yep. like, yeah. I don't remember a single thing. <laughs> Anything, yeah. That it was very reasonable. Unremarkable, but pretty good. Uh, after that, we got, uh, dirty United States title triple threat match, Logan Paul defending, uh, defended against Kevin Owens and Randy Orton, 17 minutes, uh, Meltzer here at four and a quarter. The cage match is a 7.84. Okay. Uh, Kelly and I said Logan Paul and you said Randall Keith Orton. wrong Uh, you said three and three quarters. Kelly said four. I said four. Uh, I... Would like to hear your opinions on this match. Uh, this had, I think, my favorite spot. Was of, it where he killed I Show Speed? It was where he killed uh, I Show Speed dead. Noted on stream dick popper. Yep. <laughs> Very funny. I Show Speed, who just, he, I know nothing about him, but I, I hate him. I hate him too. Yeah. Yeah. He's like very into football, like soccer. Okay. And he does a lot of stuff with like KSI, like those guys. Wasn't he, seems like a real piece of shit. He seem what well, isn't weren't he and Logan Paul involved in crypto scams? Yeah. Logan definitely was. Yeah. He yeah. might have been too. He might have been too. Yeah. 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 L- Logan's was like a game that was a crypto scam, yes. right? That was his yeah. deal. Good for him. He needed the money. Yeah. Him and uh Kurt Schilling. Oh yeah. Nice. Video game scumbags. Oh yeah, yeah. Forgot about Kurt. Uh, yeah, I Future mean, sure never Hall of Famer Kurt Schilling. Yeah, even with the bloody sock. I know. Uh, Sad. This match, like, the match, was really good. Mm, yeah, it was fun. Uh, but the thing is, again, I don't, I don't know if it's been because it's been two weeks or because my brains are bad. I don't remember much. This I match. don't remember yeah. a lot of this match. I don't yeah. either. I know it was good. Yeah, yeah. I, I know Randy killed Speed. Yeah. Um, I know Logan Paul. Did something. You got it. <laughs> uh, I think Logan did like a swanton into a top rope moonsault, maybe? On yes, both guys? Yes. Something like that? Yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, st- just stupidly athletic. Yeah. Also, I hate him. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I hate, I think the thing I hate most is how good he is at wrestling. Yeah. That's also, true. Oh, fuck. And then like, uh, that was the only, like. That was the one good thing about Vince still being in charge, that there was no ah. advertisements oh, yeah. on the no ring. No ad on the map. Big Prime in the fucking... Which yeah. I, was, ah. 
I'm assuming that's why he still has the belt. They want that prime Probably sponsorship. Not, maybe. I honestly don't really care about the sponsorship, and I don't think I really noticed it that much. No, at Other some point, than no. there was a cart at ringside that uh, had prime products on it. Yeah. You mean got, the hydration the station? The hydration <laughs> station. They got knocked over like Every match. three or four Every times match. on on both nights. It was great. And nobody was drinking any of the prime. No. And it was all the WrestleMania special edition prime that is probably like $15. We should get it. And tastes like garbage. <laughs> we got the ten dollar Dodger one, and it tastes like crap. Weasel piss. Yeah. Uh, again, because I don't remember anything, I'm gonna stick with the four, <laughs> and because I know it was good. But I honestly, if if it's not good enough to remember specific spots, other than a character in a prime costume getting murdered by Randy Orton, kind of, and kind of getting murdered twice. Yeah, because the first one wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because because Randy sees this guy in this padded suit. And he's like, and he, oh, it's and, KSI again. And he knows, <laughs> racist. And he knows he gets to kick him. And he's like, oh, he booted him. Well, I about that. yeah, he's in a, the suit looks pretty padded, so I can probably kick him as hard as I can. So he did, and it was awesome. And then they worked up to an RKO on the table, and they do it, and the table, the breakaway table, <laughs> does not budge one inch on the landing and i thought i show speed was dead and i've never been happier like that table had five people try to go through it and it never broke it never broke right no. yeah i think maybe the main event maybe had a spot and it broke yeah but like there were multiple, multiple attempts, attempts on that and yeah. it, oh each each one better than the last with this being the best one yeah. it looked like it hurt so bad it was awesome loved it and uh, how did Logan even win? He pinned Kevin Owens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, With the punch, like a did foreign some, object punch. Did he yes. do some brass knuckles? There shit? was some foreign object bullshit. Yeah. And then he hit a splat. This show had a lot of splashes. Thirty-five frog splashes. Yeah. Because Dom Ray, Dom both Usos, Ray, uh, Montez Ford, Montez Ford, Logan Paul, Logan Paul, Kevin Owens. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Sami Zayn, maybe Gunther. No, Gunther. Gunther, Gunther did, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was a, a lot of splashes, and then all the super kicks were in one match. Yeah, um, yeah, the, yeah. The show had thirty splashes and thirty super kicks. The splashes were spread out. The super kicks were in one match, like like the Young Bucks. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna stick with the four. I know it was good, but I just don't remember much about it. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at four. Did Did you say? Say what? Did you say what my rate, rate? was? Uh, what, what did I give it before? Four. Uh, I'll give it three and three quarters just to kind of... I also think three and three quarters. Yeah. But I'm not copying Kelly. Well, you initially had said three and three quarters, so... So I'm copying me from... You're copying... Two you're ago, copying three. Kelly who's copying you. Right. Yeah. I'm okay with that. That's fine. Uh, semi-main event of night two was the dirty women's title match. Um, Bailey defeating EO Sky to win the title. Really good. Uh, yeah. This Meltzer match gave, was really, really good. Four and a half. Four and a half from day. Uh, so same as Sammy Gunther. Yep. Uh, 8.46 on cage match. Okay. Close to Sammy um, Gunther. What, what was Sammy Gunther? Was it, I don't. Cage match. I don't know. Freaking Sorry, yeah, I'm trying to ask so much. Ask an easier question next time. Well, just one that doesn't involve me having to go back on the fucking day. <laughs> piece of shit. Uh, eight point five one. So very similar cage match. Yeah, only slightly higher. Yeah. Um, we all said Bailey. Yeah. Scott said three and a quarter. Uh, Kelly said three and three quarters. I said three and a half. We all lowballed it. We did. Um, it it was very good. Yeah, this had maybe my favorite spot that wasn't a streamer getting murdered or oh, uh, f- uh, electric chair over the top to the floor land on your own. That I mean, that, that was sick too. I might have liked the spot better because yeah. Bailey goes for her terrible oh, finisher. So stupid. Terrible. Why finisher. did anyone say that that was okay? What was wrong with the belly to belly? Yeah. That was fine. Um, belly um, to Bailey. Thank you. I you don't think I wasn't having an internal conflict yeah. on whether or not to say it. Yeah, you're not going to get away with that shit around me, buddy. <laughs> you say it for real or you shut the fuck up. No free rides. Uh, yeah, so Bailey goes for her just absolute 
dog shit bottom of the barrel finisher. Um, and EO does a head spring out of it and then like jump up to the middle rope and did she go like do like a 180 dive and then Bailey got her back with yes. something I think yeah. yeah great fucking spot pretty fucking good yeah this uh f- kind of reminded me that Bailey's good yeah I mean like she hasn't really done a when was the last of, good Bailey match uh yeah. NXT, 1974 uh NXT against Sasha Banks in 2015 nine yeah. years ago nine years yeah. ago um, the only downside to this was they really blew it with Bailey not coming out to like her her old music, yeah. doing the the uh, wacky waving inflatable tube man, or or Bailey even coming out to a, a, baby, face a baby face entrance face at all. Yeah, she still came out to her her heel music, heel music dressed as a pharaoh, slaves sort of. slaves bowing to her. Yeah, there was a weird face entrance. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Could have, uh, Still a more likable face than Seth Rollins. 100%. Yeah. Fuck Seth. I'm, um, glad, I'm, I'm glad he needs a new knee. Yeah, me too. I'm glad his knee fell out of his knee. Th- this, this is a very good match. It is. And uh, I don't like that consi- the back-to-back years there have been very good women's wrestling matches. Like I know. Week. It's crazy. What happened to the years where we didn't even remember who wrestled? And we're like, those, oh, yeah, that was probably bad. Those Here's were the, ni- well, Two stars. Those were nice days. Yeah. Oh, it's... Uh, um, B- Brie Bella versus uh, Eve Torres, Caitlin, or Caitlin, or something. And you're like, uh huh, the one star. Yeah. Um, I'm glad Charlotte wasn't involved this year. I'm glad she's almost dead. I- <laughs> Fair. I'm gonna give this one. I'm glad her titty exploded again, or whatever happened to her. A four and one half star. Four and one half star. I like your style, but uh, not enough. I don't like it. To say the same as you. That's fine. You said whatever you want, bitch. Here's what I will say. I name it, bitch. <laughs> I will say it was a four and one half star match, but it ended with a terrible move that I hate. So it's four and a quarter. Okay. I will also give it four and a quarter. Coward. <laughs> well, you heard it. And that brings us. To the main event of WrestleMania weekend, a bloodline rules match, meaning anything goes. Anyone, Literally anything. Anyone can cheat. Cody Rhodes, for the WWE, WWE slash WWE Universal title, Cody Rhodes defeats Roman Reigns. Black icon. For the world title. 33 minutes. Dave Meltzer gave it four and three quarters. Cage man it's gave really high on gave it a nine point two one nine two one. You need to settle down. Yeah. We obviously match. all said Cody because we're not stupid. Although we how really, we really, how good would it have been? Yeah, I would yeah. I would give it five stars if Roman won. Yep, yeah, I agree. Uh, no matter how good the match. Scott and I said three and three quarters. Kelly said three and a half. That's low. It was pretty good. It was good. It was pretty good. It was well put together. Um, yeah. So, so the genius thing they did to make to ensure that Cody is not getting booed is because for whatever reason, uh, I think specifically WWE, but maybe all wrestling fans, I'm not sure, but have like have regressed to like 1995 with where they are absolutely gay for tables, like nothing else. Nothing else comes close. Like. Thumbtack, glass, fire, anything. Don't care. Come. We come. We want tables. So the best slash worst, however you define it, thing you can do as a heel is to take the tables away from these dum dums. So very early in the match, Cody like gets the advantage, goes outside, brings the table out. Roman comes back out, pops Cody or whatever, shoves the table right. back under the ring. Cody's never getting booed again. No, there he's hundred percent. He's set for the rest of the match. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because Roman, Roman took the baby's table away, and, and like, they are all babies. The, I mean, if retarded they're retarded babies, if they're this gay for tables, yes, I will say it. They're retarded babies. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm like, you know, it kind of hurts less <laughs> when you go through a table because it's higher up and it cushions your fall. Shh. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I I didn't mean to do pro wrestling secrets revealed. Oh. Like, like holding like, the blade in your mouth under your tongue? Like dead sellout Harley Race. <laughs> <laughs> Got 
Got his ass. Got him. Fucking got him. Um, nope, I lost my... Oh. <laughs> so, the, the the match was was slower to start. Kind of like your very basic, like, yeah. main event match. Um, it did start to pick up a little bit of steam halfway through uh, with some bigger spots. Yeah. Uh, Cody started to look pretty good halfway through Mm -hmm. um, because we're not noted big Cody Rhodes fans in this room. We're not. But now that we know he's a black icon, we're kind of coming around. That is true. Uh, But yeah, he, he, you know, like it it picked up some steam and then it got to the point where he, he was doing his combo of doing like rolling crossroads. Yeah. yeah. And we were like, where the fuck is Solo? He hasn't done anything yet. Yeah. And then we were like, oh, he's actually just going to hit. And so he did the three, picked him up again, and was going to do another one. And we're like, is this just going to be just it? <laughs> like, nothing's going to happen? Yeah. Uh, but then Solo, but out of happened. nowhere, yeah, because the camera angle, like, you know, hit him, obviously. Yeah. Uh, popped in, popped Cody with the thumb. Which was the incredibly lame finish of last year's match. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so he gives him the tongue and spike and, or the Simone spike. Yeah. And, uh, you know, then he, he's getting Roman up and then, then there's a bunch of very funny things that happen. Yes. So first, and I, I slightly jumping ahead, but also starting here, this was, uh, like, like autistic Scott putting a wrestling match together style. Cause it was so like, it was so, it was mathematical. The way they did it, because like the first time he hit, he hits a crossroads and is and is clearly going for rolling ones. And as he's going for the second solo comes and bops him. And then the second time uh, he does a, a spoiler rock this the second time he gets two and is going for the third and rock comes and bops him. And then the third time he finally gets it uh, and uh, gets the three. And wins it, and and that's everything that happened. Good night. Uh, <laughs> no, so um, so yeah, so they redo the finish of last year, first of all, and then and and he kicks out. Oh, and then they do uh, Solo and Roman do a combo spike spear, yeah. right? Yeah. And they're like, oh wow, uh, and uh, and we said, oh wow, because we knew he was kicking out. We're like, oh, that's like a. That's like a really big thing to kick out of. Cody's Cody's just kicking out of fucking everything. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, okay, that's I mean, that's what we're doing, so that's mm-hmm. fine. Uh so he kicked out of that and then did well, got re got the advantage, however. Well that uh, sorry, I, I I was vaguely texting very quickly. I noticed. Uh shut the fuck up. Uh you're you're being you've been delightful, but you're being rude. Um <laughs> you're being rude. did you say the part where he like uh, Solo picked up Cody and yelled at corner at, oh, at Roman. No, Ro- get him funny. now! It's time to get him. And Roman yelled, "Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the then, match." Then he hits the spear. <laughs> that was really then funny. Roman picks up. The mug's empty. It can be knocked Roman over. Roman picks up Cody and sets him up for the crossroads. Yes. Oh, another. Yeah, back to back. Really he, funny. And he things. does the crossroads. Cody kicks out. Cody of two. kicks out too. And then Roman, while still laying on his stomach on the mat, says out like out loud so everybody can hear him, like, like to the camera. Yeah, like it's a stupid move. Moose like, sucks. Moose yeah. sucks. He never beats anybody Can't with beat it. I just wanted to it. show him that he doesn't beat anybody <laughs> with it. <laughs> really funny. That was really funny. That was like that was a very endearing Roman Reigns. So uh, him and Solo are in the ring, and then Maybe you he'll get, be a movie star. Then you get uh, the big big match. Jay's music. Oh no! Yeah, big no. Jimmy comes down. Jimmy comes down. No. John uh, China comes down. Who comes down first? Uh, oh, no, I guess... John China comes down. Mi- it, are Jay and Jimmy before Solo? Mm, uh, yeah, they are, because C- Cena right. neutralizes Solo. Sorry, before Solo, There's... Jimmy came down to do some shit. Yeah. And he hit a super kick, maybe? No, that doesn't sound like Jimmy. <laughs> and Jay Uso's music played. Jimmy ran back up the ramp. They did a quick little brawl on the stage. And then almost died. And then did the most awkward oh God. run at your brother and spear him off the ramp through placed tables. Which, which were, I'm going to conservatively 25 feet. It was feet very away. high. It was, I think it was a lot further I, than they thought. Yes. They kind of missed the closest table. Yeah. And hit the further away table. Yeah. It looked really scary. But like the problem is that the ramp's not wide. Yeah. So Jimmy had to do this weird like run in a half horseshoe. Yes. To get to him. Very silly. Yeah. Then, sorry, then Solo comes down. That whole thing happens. They're in the ring ready to do some more damage. Yeah. 
John China's music plays. Yeah. He Noted time, in the time most apologist. in the most fifty year old looking body broke down can't physically move. Way. M- motherfucker can't run. He tried, but he hasn't been able to run for quite some but, time. But this was re- this really showed his age. Oh, this yeah. is tough. This, this is really tough. made him for look sure. like an old man. Yeah, he 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 hustled as best as he could, but he looked so. But shit. did he also loyalty and respect? He also loyalty <laughs> and respected. He got in the ring, uh, you know, solo random. He uh, tra- did some terrible John Cena punches. Yep. Hit the uh, duck the line, give him the backdrop, go for the five knuckle shuffle. Did he hit the five knuckle knuckle shuffle? I don't even remember. I think he did. I think he so. Got up and did the AA. Got up, did the AA. Was like fired up, all yep. celebrated. Then bam, the Rock's music hits. Yep. So the Rock uh, motherfuckers his way down to the ring. Hundred uh, percent. Absolutely motherfucks then, his way down. Then to the gets ring. in the ring and does, and they they do the worst like telegraphed John Cena oh, throwing yeah. a terrible stand in place punch. Big so old swing. So your arm lands exactly into a rock. Like it looked fucking terrible. And like why they couldn't have Cena and Rock trade for a second. Like why it needed to be seen as too unselfish. Uh, He's yes. like Rock, just kill me, and he right. did. He probably he probably did. Yep. Just like when he had that match with Brock Lesnar, and he told the Brock like, "Yeah, just fucking Squash steam my ass. Ro- steamroll me. Yeah, you just beat the Undertaker, and I'm not better than the Undertaker." Um, but yeah, so he uh, gives him the rock bottom, and then you're like, "I said to you." Ooh, are we getting a Steve Austin? I think it's time. Well, everything's made sense so far because Cena's last match was with Solo, and Solo beat him, so this was Cena getting his revenge on that. Then Rock is obviously involved in the feud, but also Rock and Cena have a storied rivalry, so that makes sense. So now, now that Rock is dispatched of Cena, it's clearly time for Rock's greatest rival of all time to come out and thwart him, which is, of course... Diabetes? <laughs> Sickle cell anemia. <laughs> <laughs> but only half of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The left half. The left half. Uh, which is, of course, uh, his The Rock's number one most famous rival, obviously, The Undertaker. Ha- look, <laughs> I know they've probably had a match before. Yeah. I can't name oh, yeah. one. Um, oh, they had a bunch in like '99. Yeah, they had some in '99. I guess because they were. That's when the. That's when the corporate ministry was. You know, bubbling, bubbling. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Uh, they haven't done a lot together, yeah. and uh, Steve Austin would have made ten thousand times more sense. But they couldn't reach an agreement on money because I don't know. WWE's hurting for cash. Uh, well, I mean, it, it is also that I. I I've heard. I can't confirm. These are. There's just rumors. I'm just spreading the rumors. The, that um, you're, you're listening to the rumors. Despite, uh, despite the obvious uh, atrocities committed by one Vincent Kennedy McMahon, mm-hmm. that uh, Austin, at the end of the day, he's pretty cool. Austin is work? is very much like a loyal to the company run by uh, Vince, yeah. and not run by Hunter. And I think that's why his asking price was higher. That if it was Vince in charge, and of course none of those things had come out, uh, I think Austin would have done it for like a very like a hometown discount. Sure. But I think because it's Hunter, and obviously Austin knows how much money Endeavor fucking has. Yeah. That he definitely was like, you you could give me fifteen million. Yeah, you could. And they should have. They should have. I mean, look, Undertaker is still a great thing. Music hits, light go, lights go out, he's a biker. He's a biker, you know, comes out, cool. gives, gives The Rock one of the worst choke slams I've ever seen. Yep. Uh, and then lights go out. R- and rivaling his one out of Hulk Hogan in 2002. Yep. Uh, lights go out, everyone's gone. That, I did like it. Except I, for Cena. Cena was still there because he was there during the celebration. Okay. Yes. His bald spot. His bald spot. I, I did oh! like that Taker made everyone disappear. We forgot about when Cena came out and took his hat off. And he kept fixing oh, and he kept his hair. Fixing his just hair. kept pushing his hair back to cover the bald spot. Like, yeah. listen, John. Your hat. Listen, John. I get it. I like. I'm paranoid about going bald all the time. I'm I'm terrified of it because sure. I don't want to have to shave my head. Uh-huh. But if I start going bald, I'm shaving my head. But also, John Cena, you are like Kevin said this. Yeah, you're worth a billion dollars. Get the Turkish get hair the plugs. Turkish hair plugs. What are you they, doing? They work and they look good. Yeah, just do it. Jeremy Piven got good ones in 1993. Yep. You can get something too. Yeah. You have the money. What are you doing? I don't know. Hey, does he not have Jeremy Piven money? No, he does not. Does he not have pre, pre-PCU Jeremy Piven money? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't get it. Um, 
And then, yeah, Cody, they did the cross rolling crossroads and did the three this time. Fucking pinned his ass. Yep. And then Cody's music played for 20 <laughs> minutes straight on loop. So long. And it has been stuck in my head for yep. two fucking weeks. Quite, quite some time. And it is a horrible song. It's it's like it's the worst music I've ever heard. It is the worst of early 2000s new metal. Because Cody's lame like that. He's so lame. He's not as lame as Seth Rollins, but he's lame. Yeah. Did you hear the story about Dusty's Gold Watch? I know of the story of Dusty's Gold Watch. So I guess uh, when the Rhodeses were on hard times in the... 2000s yeah. i think before tna i think maybe during tna but uh because cody was originally going to be wanted to be an actor yeah and i think dusty pawned his gold rolex mm. to send him to acting school right which paid off <laughs> it must be very frustrating to be dustin and see how much Dusty loved Cody more yeah. than him. Yeah, really a lot more. I, and like, didn't Dusty know that Dustin's better in every way besides being a total junkie? <laughs> yeah. Was that the only... Yeah, but he's turned his life around. He's the, he's, he's the best. He's the best. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be I'd be mad if I was Dustin. Um, but yeah, so, and th- yeah, this was in like the mid-2000s. Yeah. So after i get backstage afterwards uh, yeah. and i guess this was mostly uh nick Khan's doing because yeah. he has the most connections yeah they he and triple h gave cody like this nice you know boxed present thing and like cody opens it and cries and all that and it's all very nice um but they're they're not just saying it's the, uh, the same kind yeah. of gold rolex that mm-hmm. dusty pond they're saying it's it's the, the gold rolex that dusty pond and how could you in a million years have ever found that no unless unless the rich and like nick Khan level rich and powerful people can do things that are beyond like my ma- dreams like magic I, it might he's be, a magician he, he, he kind of looks like a magician well all, all persian people kind of oh look. magic all persian people kind of look magic i mean the, uh, the only thing i could think of is that maybe some wrestling loser bought it a long time ago <laughs> you know like he went possible. like like you know part, like a piece of memorabilia yeah. some guy but well, maybe it's got like dusty's name in it or something yeah if it's engraved that's something and like some loser yeah. bought it and then they found out who bought it and said we'll give you a million dollars for it or yeah, something yeah like it's and, it's possible it just seems so so unlikely. I don't dollars. think it's They'll real. fucking give him a t-shirt and like a DVD. <laughs> yeah. they're, uh, not Kelly, he's, they're not the Los Angeles Dodgers, but yeah. <laughs> they, you're right, they would. They'd give him tickets to a live <laughs> pre- like a yeah. live event. A in house show. Yeah. A house not show even a pay-per-view, town. yeah. Yeah, the VIP treatment at a house show where you get to meet yeah. uh, uh, Indusheer. Third row floor. <laughs> yeah. The best seats in the house, baby. And, yeah. a, and like a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of Ryback shirts. Ooh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It was all the faces were in the ring. They celebrated. They lift them up. Uh, his, uh, his hot black wife came out, yeah. uh, and then he got on the mic and he called out Triple H. He called out Bruce Pritchard and told them the, that he's gay. And they were like, yep, man, no, <laughs> Bruce Pritchard didn't get one clap. No, no, nobody wanted to cheer Bruce Pritchard. Nope. They wanted to cheer Triple H. Yeah. Uh, Triple H didn't want to come out. No. <laughs> Triple no. H was mad that he had to come yeah. out. Uh, because but, again, he doesn't want to be a on-screen yeah. person. Pritchard was fine coming out, but uh, nobody was happy yeah. to see him. Yeah. So that was fun. Uh, what are we giving it for Star Rating? It's so hard to rate Smoke and Mirrors matches. Was it better well, than last la- What did we years? give Undertaker AJ? I have no idea. Five and a half. I have no fucking clue. Uh, what we I don't. I don't know. Last year. You, you would have to. Somebody would have to do the research for us because I'm not doing the research. Yeah. Although it is all transcribed, so I could just go back and see. But I, I also, prefer it to be cis-scribed. Hmm. But that's just me. Well, trans trans species, not gender. All right, I'm back. Okay. Yeah. But but you're a porcupine. Oh. <laughs> you're, Weird. You're a spiky back and butt. It's not, I mean, it's all. Oh, you can't even sit down to poo. You gotta, like, hover. <laughs> I haven't thought about the perils of an anthroporcupine. Yeah. 
But you got a spiked dick. Does it go through through underneath and then all this is spiky? <laughs> I, Anyways. I, I think their undercarriage is not spiky. I wouldn't know. I've never been near one. I don't want to be near one. No, that they're, they're a lot bigger than you think they are. They're like uh, about three, four feet tall. 85 pounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's... Uh, yeah, this is really hard to rate because it is a lot of like Spoke mirror and like a reason. The reason is so high on cage matches the nostalgia. Yeah, you know you got the. It's rock, not a nine point two match. No, not even That's close. That's wild. Not even close. I don't even. I'm not even sure that it breaks the four. I'm deciding that. I don't know. Like, do I keep it at three and three quarters? Do I push it to four? What else did I give four? I gave Logan Paul and Kevin Owens and Randy Orton four. I feel like I might have given last you, year's four. You've given a lot of low ratings, Scott. I don't think you liked this show. I don't think I like wrestling. I mean, I don't like wrestling either. I didn't really like that show all that much. Uh, L- last true, year but Kelly, you've given some... F- no, you've given two fours. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. And I have given three fours. So I can't give it a four because it's not better than any of the fours I've given. Is so it not? I'm going to keep it at three and three quarters. I'll keep it at three and three. Or that, what was it? What did I give it? Three? You have three and a half is what oh, your prediction. I'll yeah. give it. You know, actually, I'll probably. Me. Me. Uh, uh. <laughs> I will give it. I think I'll keep it actually at three and a half. Three and three quarters might be right for me what what feels right what do i feel i liked it but definitely my... nowhere near as much as last year well i already so... i already typed it so it's oh, three and three quarters and it is decided <laughs> so you can you can keep thinking you can talk out loud but, but it doesn't um, fucking matter so because the rules are the rules you scott got four wrong kelly got four wrong i uh-huh got three wrong god Damn it! I win. Fuck. I R winner. Fuck. Uh, the extra one that you got wrong was Randy Orton, Randy. and the extra one that Kelly got wrong was the uh, the Biggins over the Blacks. <sighs> Classic mistake. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the one that you got right instead of Kelly and I was Drew over Seth. Ah. I, I got Jay over Jimmy right, and Kelly got Bianca and Naomi over Damage Control right. And then we all got Dom, the, the bad Latinos winning. Wrong. Right. Because nobody turned heel. Because nobody turned heel, even though he's the most unlikable guy in that, in that feud. He's such a dick. Yep. So. So good for us. Happy trails. But the most good for you. Drew. And I heard. Drew has won yet another WrestleMania. I've heard, but I'm not certain. Mm-hmm. Wrestling has more than one royal family. And I know it's that, the Zoomhoffs. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know that wrestling has more than one black champion. That is true. And, uh, and oh, is, it, it is was that black icon Cody Rhodes. It was it was funny because uh, we were saying after Cody won, we're like, well, he's going to be on SmackDown because the other titles on Raw. So like, what's the first heel he's going to defend against? And we're like, AJ Styles, who just lost clean to LA Knight, and as of the <laughs> results of two nights SmackDown, yes, that's exactly, that exactly what he'll be doing. What doing. So uh, pretty funny, and uh, I'm glad we can uh, still decipher uh, sort of uh, remnants of bad Vince booking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love the idea of losing clean on the biggest show of the year. Next world and title then, And then in theory, the next show winning the world title. Yeah, I mean, obviously not going but, to, right? Yeah. But like that that's just like the but funny the aspect of it. potential to do like, so. Yeah, very funny. You they, lose to a guy and then you become the world champion. Yeah, it's the best. Yeah. Um, I, That seems like enough show. Anything else to add? Uh, Kelly, any business to attend to? I really got to pee. So. Kelly's really got to pee. Uh, <laughs> oh, Drew, oh, what oh, was... Oh, your front or your back? Ooh, back pee? No. Oh, less exciting. Uh, Drew, what was that word you wanted to bring back? Oh, uh, it was... Uh, Oh, right. oh, cu- 